everyone. Um, we, I didn't know no, but it it it, it worked. <laughs> yeah, he got lucky. He got lucky out of no no. So it's more like um, an okay okay. <laughs> At least you got yeah. something out of it, I guess, but that is all thanks to luck. You got the you got the the, think, the gambler thing, oh, man. Oh, you versus like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just went like, eh. right? They just threw it to you. They were like, ah, yeah, fuck it. We'll we'll give you this one, but when you're trying to pull for Seth, you're gonna. You're gonna eat. Yeah, when you, when you go get when you get Seth, you're gonna get everyone else except for yeah, Seth. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna eat your you're gonna eat your words. <laughs> That's how it works, man. That's how it works. Which that's the thing I hated. When I get me when we used to pull with Fco, you guys will get the shit that I wanted. Yes. I'll get the shit that I that you wanted. Yep. That, that 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 shit was cursed. <laughs> FGO is cursed, man. Like, who was the one in our group that wanted, um, uh, uh, that wanted at the time Jack the Ripper? Oh, um, was that Keters or was that um? Uh, no, that was that had no Keters wanted Mordred. He really yeah, wanted Mordred. But oh no 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 it was uh well Ender slash Kate so yeah oh yeah oh now I remember because because she did okay she was... she did the whole like milk carton thing like the missing oh this character is missing or some shit <laughs> just, yeah. just like this I I I specifically remember that joke because uh she was uh Jack was um pretty good at the time. Yeah, because I, I remember, like, what, they dumped money, right? And mm -hmm. they didn't get her, get Jack. Get I Jack. rolled in yeah. with, my, with my freebie, like, 30, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to try. Oh, dear. I, no, and then I got I got Jack, like, <laughs> relatively <laughs> soon, too. So we're all getting Jack, and then... And uh and uh Kate was getting and jack Kate, shit. <laughs> yeah. Like didn't Kate like, leave didn't Kate leave the fucking Discord for a while after I don't know. we all got it? I don't know. It was like we Yeah. I think no. the, you know the, 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 the like, Right. <laughs> Who left? I think it was just her leaving the chair or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I would not I, I would yeah. not have been surprised if that really happened. Then you know it was a uh, freaking. I forget. Was it James or was it Josh that? Oh, was it um? It was one of them, right? That kept stealing King Hassan from me. No, because uh, by then they weren't playing the game. Uh, yeah, but someone kept stealing King Hassan from me. I have no group, idea. And I, I remember I got Hassan. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it would have to be in Gotcha Bitch if you want to try to look back into that, but because I, 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 I ain't going back like fucking five years. I know that's it's been, yeah, it's, that's like ancient times now. Uh, uh, ain't nobody have time for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing I've been doing. Um, by uh, Trunks in um, Fortnite. Oh. Regular Trunks, not Super Trunks. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me check the, uh, <laughs> the, the audio while you, yes. you, you, you type it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Yep. The power. Mm hmm. So while we're um, waiting for my ads to hurry up. Yes. Um, um, rating out of 10. 
How was Deadpool and Wolverine? Deadpool and Wolverine gets a solid ass nine out of ten. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I did not like the villain um, all that much. Oh, Cassandra? Cassandra? Yeah. yeah, she... You... Okay, I can hear us. Okay, good. I can hear us perfectly. Cassandra kind of needed a little bit more build up because yeah. uh, yes they yes they kind of info dumped her but if you're not really diverse in X Men lore you're uh-huh. kind of like only getting the surface level of what she is yeah I mean yes she is Charles Xavier's twin mm. but she's not really his twin. It's like his evil dark side, and it's a, like a whole comic series. Uh, yeah, I and that, right. That that everyone has, you know, a light and a dark side. It just depends which one will take over more. Right. But because of Charles, like, not position, but because of what Charles is, and because yeah. of the Shi'ar um, Empire, it kind of gets a little bit muddy. So it's yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna say cosmic shit uh-huh. happened, and that's why Cassandra was born. Got it. As, as plainly I can say. Right, right. Yeah, I read. I, I read a little bit into Cassandra, like the real, like quick synopsis thing, and yeah, yeah it's like so. It's supposed to be some sort of like wraith thing that, like, I don't know, some that takes over her yeah. body or some shit. It, 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 I, I read it really like quick, so um, it like took her body or something, and then now, it, okay, you know, that's Cassandra. Like, that's basically kind of how it happened. Because, uh, like in the womb or whatever, like Charles already killed yeah. her. And and, and yeah, uh, before Charles killed her, <laughs> killed her, quote unquote, it before birth, but then the wraith takes over, I guess, the body, right? Am I am I getting that right or something? Um, so he kills her, but her mind survived, and they just found another host. Uh, so she is, oh, so she, so she took over is, the wraith. Okay. Yeah. So the wraith is actually her mind, you know, in the form of a wraith. Oh, just, okay, okay. So it's like a projection almost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But maybe, okay, so so basically she survived. That's what that's what she yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's my that's my only like major gripe and then like maybe like other little nitpicks at the movie, but other than that, I I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was really funny. Oh, I can do fourth wall breaking. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> what the shit was that? <laughs> yeah. I think that's what I do. Nice, nice pull was like quite something. I will say that. And it's funny that um, Lady Pool is um, Ryan Reynolds' uh, wife girlfriend. Oh, okay. I think it's wife. Yeah, and then the kid, kid, kid Pool is actually is his actual kid. Oh, is that his, okay? Okay, wow. So that's funny. So when that kid swore, I was like, <laughs> "Hmm, someone's parents are gonna whack you." Oh shit! It's your son. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Never mind. <laughs> you yep. got the okay from mommy and daddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can swear just yep. this once mm-hmm. and get paid for it. I kind of like roll my eyes when uh. I'm just gonna say, uh, Samurai Deadpool like talked. <laughs> so yeah. It, it was, I was like, wait, wait. I was like, okay, all right. I kind of, I kind of like, tough. yeah. <laughs> you braced yourself, in yeah. Because I was like, well, how stereotypical <laughs> are you gonna be? <laughs> so I, I was counting. I was like, three, two, one. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> maybe it was maybe it, maybe it was their intention to, to make it so stereotypical that like yeah the the age the the ja- at, at least the Japanese people <laughs> would be laughing <laughs> because it's so like like it's so open openly stereotypical I don't know and then there was um one of my five favorites is the um the car scene 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the. Yes. <laughs> Are you yeah. got nothing to say now? <laughs> Mouth. Like, <laughs> like, how dare you? How dare you hurt him? <laughs> I'm gonna fight you now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really slap. Like, okay. <laughs> Yep, and then I take it back. Yeah, on the other sea, fuck. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Which yeah. in my theater, someone someone looked. I, I guess it was a soccer mom. Yeah, she had the the, the voice. She's like, "Honey, I want to on the other sea now." I was like, "Oh my god, no!" It's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Don't." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pull out, man, pull out. Oh man. And of course, I get why um, Baba Bai is coming back, right? Make it made a comeback. I love that. I love that the official music video has a thing now. It says the, the Deadpool song or something. It was, I thought that was hilarious. And it, and it is a past joke from Deadpool 2 of why uh, NSYNC was there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, The last thing before we jump into our actual ideas. Yeah. We're, sorry, kids. I know we were already talking about Deadpool, but spoilers. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, spoiler, spoiler warning. Uh, spoiler warning. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who did you root for more? Walking, walking down, you know, the steps, and entering. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That, uh, who, who, who did you was, actually like stood up and you're like well when okay I stood up and you like me, cheered aloud so mentally so mentally um i was like um like oh shit for uh for blade i was like oh my yeah. god it's actually wesley snipes and shit but then like you see gambo like, oh! <laughs> he's actually in the comic the comic the comic book costume and everything i kind of yeah. wish they did something with his eyes but whatever it's, yeah it's, that's how that's my gripe about it but yeah chani chay um really pretty much had his um his dream come true yeah getting you know getting it off off of um limbo yeah and I looked at my friend, and I was like, he's a real boy. Yeah. <laughs> he's real. Like, I'm shaking him. Yeah. I was then, I was um, sort of spoiled, yeah. but I was sort of oh. spoiled of that coming because I, because, you know, P Twitter can't shut up, but, you yeah. know, like, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know when they were coming. I thought there was going to be like a yeah. cameo or something, but no, they're like, they had yeah. a full on like walking in scene, like, oh shit. Like, it's almost like a, like a wrestling entrance kind of yeah. levels of hype, you know? And then, yeah, it was it was nice to see uh, Electra, you know, um, you know, but I mean Jennifer Gardner still looks good. Oh yeah, no, she no, she looks good. She looks good. Not no discredit, but Bla seeing Blade and then Gamma, I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit. I did, I do like that joke with um, Electra. So so where's Daredevil dead? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. Eh, that's fine. I'm like. <laughs> 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 yeah, another jab to Mad Demon. Yeah, yeah. But hey, I mean the what do you call it? the MCU series is coming in still, <laughs> so. Which is again, so we'll talk more about what Disney is gonna bring to the MCU. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Daredevil: Born Again is gonna pick up after season two, I believe, of the Netflix series. So yeah. anything after the season two of Netflix series. Is not canon. Does not. Oh, uh, okay. So go. Whoosh. Yeah. Fuck up your memory. Right. They're just kind of like wrapping up that part, I guess. Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. Or just do do a fast retelling. And I'm like. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I just want to see Vanessa again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like otherwise though the move the movie I would say like I want to like kind of like um say that it was one a shit post to the recent MCU stuff, but two yeah it was a shit post yeah but yeah and then you know they they they're gonna uh, they're, it was gonna make fun of the MCU stuff naturally like you you like yeah. you already know that's coming but it was a nice like yeah. love letter to like all the Century Fox like Marvel movies like the X Men stuff and then. 
Yeah. Um, it, it was a it was a nice correct closure to mm-hmm. Fox's um X Men franchise. Yeah. Well just like Fox Marvel stuff in general, really. Yeah. Yeah. Cause because again, they Fox pretty much just went like, okay, done. Yeah. There was no closure. It was just like done. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then um yeah, and then like they brought in like Blade and Electra and then um uh and then they even threw in uh Gambit, you know, which for the hell of it. Which I really did like. Gambit. And they also threw in um Jim McCall. Laura, aka um X twenty three X twenty three, yes, that's right. She's all grown up and all that stuff. She even has like the, the glasses and stuff from the yeah. gas station or whatever, right? And then the yeah, backpack. When she was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when she was a kid, got the backpack. Uh, I was kind of disappointed with Juggernaut because it's not the same exact same actor, but it's the same costume. So yeah, yeah. But maybe I don't know. Maybe uh, he didn't want to do it or something. I don't know. I I just find it funny that people's like, "Where's, where's a uh, agent of Shield?" It's like they weren't part of the Fox. Yeah. <laughs> cinematic universe. Right. Fuck. <laughs> it's like the fuck. Yeah, and then. <laughs> Same, same movie. And then um, I, I, I actually didn't recognize Pyro. Like I, I forgot about Pyro. Yeah. I was like, who's who's this guy? But then he brought. I think he brought the lighter, and I'm like, oh shit, it's yeah, Pyro. The lighter. Yeah. And then uh, like I didn't even realize like he can do that. Like I don't know how he like sucked in the fire. Like does he have like the, like a uh, what do you call it? like just some hose or something oh, like. Any- so depending on which iteration Pyro is, yeah, um, think of a. Uh, he can manipulate fire, but he cannot create his own. Right, that's that's the so that's the so, thing. So yeah, he has so he can siphon like fire. Oh, okay, so he can just sources. suck. He just he can just suck in fire. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I can understand why people are kind of pissed off because Johnny Storm, you know, lost to him. It's yeah. It's, Johnny Storm is pretty much a walking, um, you know, uh, solar fucking nuclear blast. Solar. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he has infinite en- energy, and Pyro, again, depending on which iteration he is, he either can siphon all of it, or, you know, he'll just go like, oh, shit, too much. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> right. And then, you know, like, uh, yeah, that speaking of Human Torch, right, I, you know, like, I think I, I got, I got debated thinking that was supposed to be uh, Captain America, but he's like, you know, uh, flame on or whatever. And he said the line, he said the other line. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's Human Torch. That one was also like, I, I did not expect that, actually. I thought he was supposed to be like some, like, uh, Let's see, now it yeah. ruins my hopeful wish for the upcoming Fantastic Four to just see Chris Evans just walking in the background yeah. with a Fantastic Four like fucking like, like shirt like, or something co- yeah, yeah, yeah. costume they yeah, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a, yeah he's, he, like, he walks on as a cosplayer yeah that'd be funny and I also find it funny people are kind of disappointed of how the costumes look for Fantastic Four and it's like oh yeah it's made in the sixties. It's supposed to look. Yeah. Is it, oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Like it, yeah. Is it, is it supposed to be like a retro punk? Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a retro like yeah, you know, and it kept spilling out. This is in the sixties. Yeah. It's not going to look like this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Think of it like 60s. a Yeah. Like Fallout. Fallout is kind of like that same sort of style or punk or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Oh, uh, what else? Um. Obviously, there was dog pool, right? You know, he's a dog, right? Um, it's cute. The, the gay clapping that Wade did at the at the uh, end, uh, I was uh, like, <laughs> it ascended me. I was like, yeah, you know what? That's everyone when they see a freaking dog uh-huh. running toward them. Like, yeah, Logan was just like this. The abs- he's like Squidward, basically. I I, I kind of like look at him as Squidward, and then uh, Deadpool yeah. was like. The sponge, the unhinged uh, SpongeBob, pretty much. Yeah. I so I really like that uh, Logan. Um, yep. 
well, what, what else? Um, oh yeah, and then the shit with Peter, like, <laughs> that, especially by the end, the fucking Peter. What, yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. Like, everyone loves Peter apparently. Like, okay, so let me ask you, what? Like, is Peter from the comics? He's relatively new. Oh, he's a new character. Okay. Yeah. Because um. It's pretty much like Peter is his part, you know. Yeah, like a like a sidekick almost. Like a, crying. Yeah, almost a sidekick. Almost a sidekick, yeah. But depending on again which Peter, he, he actually has like a very uh, he's very unhinged. Yeah. In some of the comics. Right, 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 right. I can imagine him go, yeah, kind of like turning on that switch if he needed to, because he's like too nice. He's like super nice. He's he's super nice, right? Everyone loves him, right? That kind of character. But um, I thought, see, I thought he died in in the two. Like what? What? Uh, so he died, but then Deadpool stole Cable's um. I, oh, uh, that's right. The, that whole him, okay, okay, okay. That okay, okay. That whole sequence. Okay, so he did bring back. Okay, so I because I thought yeah, like yeah, because yeah. so, yeah. I thought for that's some why, reason. Um, okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's why in the apartment building you see the um other Asian guy with the red hair and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. Also part of Taft. So he so Deadpool went back to save them all. And then yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? We're, we're breaking up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's right. He broke up the team so that they didn't die. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's that whole, that whole scene was fucking graphic for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Watching um. Fuck, what's his name? Angelina Jolie's um ex. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, seeing him as the invisible guy and getting shocked. Oh. <laughs> um yeah, so yeah, that that kind of threw me in a loop um when I was watching the movie. I'm like, "What? Wait a minute. Yeah, he was wasn't he supposed to be dead? I thought I thought he, that this happened to him and like so I thought he's like I don't know, I guess some sort of like mutant with like super regenerative abilities in secret or something or something I forgot. It it was a while. It was like a while back yeah. when I watched Deadpool 2, so you know, which I also watched in theaters, right? And then, uh, to be fair, but um, speaking of regenerative abilities, uh, Nice Pool did not have the regenerative ability, unfortunately. <laughs> How long does it take you to regenerate? Regenerate? <laughs> you are God, stupid <laughs> You're a creation, aren't you? Yep. Oh man. Yep, and then his, bl <laughs> his head just blew off. Oh shit. Yep. Uh, what what was it? Um, there was one other thing. I was I did want to say. Oh, and then yeah, and then the, the giant when Johnny got his skin like pulled or whatever, like he's oh, yeah. turning to meat and bones essentially. And <laughs> Logan was like, "You got him killed!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> Now, now, mom and dad are talking. Can you shut the fuck up? You're <laughs> shutting your mouth. Shut, shut up. <gasps> okay. Right. And then, of course, the end credits or whatever. Um, he said all those things. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! Yeah, it's like I'm gonna show you the truth that he really did see it. Uh huh. Huh. Keep, 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 keep going. Uh, yeah, keep, yeah. I'm listening. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> Yeah, and then he's like, "Gotcha, fuck face or something." <laughs> yeah, he just threw them. <laughs> I uh, think my the best reaction in the whole movie was from Paradox. Yeah, no, no one, sur no one survived. Everyone was dead. He has risen. <laughs> <laughs> See the anger in his face, like yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. I would, I, I would be that too. I'd be like, no, no, boss, not, nothing happened. You know, we couldn't do anything. I fixed it. <laughs> yeah. 
I also liked when, uh, what was it, the Peter and, uh, the chief or whatever were, like, staring at each other. Like, they gave, they were giving each other, like, the, you know, that, you know, the, the bedroom eyes. The, the bedroom <laughs> eyes, exactly. And then the paradox, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I know, he's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, you're under arrest. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but again, everyone, go watch Kid Deadpool and Wolverine. It, it, it's a blast. Yeah. It's a good, Closer to Fox. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do have homework. There is Your some homework, homework but much, yeah. It's pretty much catch up to Loki season two. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, that's and, true. And rewatch <laughs> rewatch some of the Fox um X Men or the Fox MC you know own cinematic universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which I don't which is another thing. I didn't think that Blade was part of Fox. I think it was like New Line Cinema, right? I think Blade. No, oh, well, maybe maybe they picked it up. Maybe that's the thing. What happened? Uh, let me look that up real quick because I am I was like kind of like questioning it a little bit. Unless Blade Blade Two and Three was under Fox, but the yeah, first one the first one might have Cinema. Yeah, let's see. So. Blade. <laughs> yeah, blood A, yeah. Um produce uh yeah, you're right. Yeah, see, new line yeah. cinema right there. Cinema was the first, but what was who was the second? But it like, just says Marvel one? Enterprises, so I don't know. Oh no, I meant so I meant Blade Two. So. Oh Blade Two, sorry, sorry. Um Let's see. This should be yeah, there you go, sequel. Blade two is New Line Cinema still, still. right? Lay three, huh. Trinity, you're right? Um, still New Line. Yeah, still New Line. I think, I think, I think they just they just like bought it or something. They bought the rights or something. It's like, yeah, it's either bought or they um they just waived it. You know, just go like, oh yeah, here we're not doing right. anything with it. You know. Because again, when you're learn when you're holding IP or rights to something, you have like what a 10, 10 year ten years or something grace period. Yes, a ten year grace period, and if you don't do nothing, it goes to somebody else, or you know you have to sell it off mm -hmm. or um, surrender it, something like that. Yeah, it could have been just like the exception where they just let it happen, like just like ah right, fuck it, right? They don't care, maybe. Um, Unless because Blade, the IP was already rebought through Mar um, Disney Marvel, so maybe they, that's how they were able to flex. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because uh, New Line Cinema is, I guess, under technically uh, Warner Brothers right now, right? <laughs> and we're gonna talk a lot of shit about. I mean, oh God. Actually, we're gonna talk lovely things. Yes. About Warner Brothers. Lovely things about Warner Brothers uh handling right. their uh mm -hmm. dumbasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not gonna be nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> that whole that whole spiel, man. Um New World Pictures bought the rights to Marvel Comics, blah blah blah. Um Let me see. Blade was eventually set up at 20th Century Fox. Okay. That maybe that that that's a well that's a big hint. Um 20th Century Fox originally wanted to do Blade as something that was almost a spoof before the writer convinced them otherwise. At one point, the studio asked if blade could be white oh my god wow um blah, blah blah okay yeah see this shit this whole like this whole like diversity race swapping shit wasn't even happening like before um it became an internet trend quote unquote i kind of forget about that shit um anyway so that's weird it says yeah it's just like century fox wanted to do this 
but I guess they bought the rights or something. But the, the, the New World Pictures bought the rights to it. I don't know. It's weird. This show, this, this, this fucking situation is always like kind of confuses me. It's like, who owns this? Who owns them? Who owns that? Whose umbrella you're under? You know, that shit. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who is your daddy? <laughs> Who is your daddy? And what does he do? What does he do? <laughs> What does he it do? It looks like a tumor. It's not mm. a tumor. Not it's a tumor. Not a tumor. <laughs> Who is your daddy? What does he do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Anyway. And yeah, he's out. But yes. But so true. anyway, Fox got but, it. <laughs> and, yeah, Fox got it at the end. Yeah. But again, uh, the final score, Fox said it was nine out of ten. Yeah. I'm a simple man. They give it a 10. Yeah. But if I wanted to be critical, yeah, I'll give it a an 8. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there are some key components for this movie that, yes, you had to do homework. Yeah. And kind of had to have background on the X-Men lore. Yes. Yeah. Which right. I was in the middle of Friends. One side knew the X-Men lore. The yes. other side kept going like this. like... Who's she? Mm -hmm. Charles's evil side. How's she created? In the womb. <laughs> Is she evil? Shut the fuck up and watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, what, what was it? Um, what was I say? Oh yeah, no. When she was first, when she first appeared, like when when they like where she, uh, she uh, what do you, what do you call? Oh, from the back, the from, back, the back, from the back, from the back shot. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be uh, what what you gonna call Doctor Strange's uh, like master. I forgot her name, but yeah, like oh the the ancient one, the ancient one. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. Like the, I thought she was gonna be the, I thought that was the ancient one. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you thought it was gonna be um uh, Tila Swifton, something like that. Yeah, yeah. The ancient I can't one. Pronounce her, I, I cannot pronounce her last name, so I just go like, oh, it's the witch from Lion, the witch in the wardrobe. <laughs> uh, Tilda Swift, Swifton or something like that. Something like that. She was very yeah. good. Like, Swinton, I like yeah. I, I like her presence, yeah. Like, she was like that caring parent, but she will push your ass, like... She she'll be like that's that's good kid. Mm -hmm. Don't do it again. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, Open I mean I think she mind. yeah ancient one's supposed to be like an old Asian dude or something, but they like yeah switched it up. But at least here well, it he was... was a so what the ancient one was is supposed to be is a old Tibetan monk. Oh okay okay. They had to change it because China. Yes. Would have been pissy. Uh huh. Uh huh. China, 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 China. China, China, yeah. Right, right. Uh, so, okay, right. Understandable, so I, I guess. I think this is like one of those, like, not, yeah, I, it's still not okay, but it was like one of those, like, you kind of have the past, but it's not really a good past to whitewash the character. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's just that you don't want a fucking nation go on an uproar, you know. Burn yeah, up. well, I mean, yeah. you know, China bring in the money, so the money talks. Uh, same, similar thing with uh, Genshin, that whole, that whole spiel. I'm not going to fucking repeat that shit again, but yeah. Anyway, so, hello, everyone. Now we can officially, quote unquote, start, even though we pretty much started with the Hypecast. That's yeah, how we open it. We can already hear the hype cast if it was a being and be like, Woo, do you know how long I've been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a name for ourselves here. Yeah, I know the that whole yeah, that that uh, yeah, it's a, it's already a meme. Like I'm not surprised, but Gam I love Gambit. Yeah, you know. Uh, I I hope we get more Gambit. I hope we get more of that Gambit in uh, in particular. Which I can like people need to relax. It's supposed to be over the top. Over the top, yes. Yes. Like, yeah, like, down. this head looks funny, but, you know, that's, it's from the comics, whatever. It, and it, like, the, like you said, it's over the top, you know, I give it a, oh, no. a, 
I gave it a uh, approval. Sorry. Oh, what's going I on? I looked on Twitter. I just looked at Twitter and I just saw Justin Wong's post. It's like, please tell me you didn't throw money. Oh, I'm what? trying to get Dylan. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, the whole like, oh, I'm broke, and then you see like yeah, Ellen I'm on this. So, I'm so broke. I'm like, the fuck did you do? Yeah, he has a uh, Ju Juan and Ellen, and yeah. Well, he still doesn't have Grace or Koala. So cool. Koala, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't, not not concerning, but it's like, right? <laughs> He's like, mm, hey. right. Maybe, well, I, mean, I don't know, maybe he tried to get the W engines also for both characters. That, then, yeah, you're you're definitely fucking drop money. Unless you're incredibly lucky. Uh, but anywho, 287 is this episode. Welcome uh, back, everyone. With yours truly, as always, Sean, aka Hawk 525 With my cohort right here, with the Braum uh, background because uh, we are going to talk about some uh, 2XKO in a bit in the fighting game section of things. Uh, while I have uh, just the Star Rail background, that's the new update, of course, with uh, uh, Yun Li and uh, March 7th in the background somewhere behind my head. Anyway, so, um, hope everyone's been doing good. It's been a kind of a slow week, other than if you're paying attention to the Olympics, of course, right? stuff happened which we will actually kind of talk about in a way in the frontline side of things but anyways um let me bring up the sound board before we you bring it up um the olympics all i can think of right now is the um break dancer from from australia oh, just, it, oh yeah, yeah yeah i saw that i saw that that was something <laughs> like i had to i showed it to my friend who still break dances to this day and they're like the fuck is they doing? I was like, I don't know you, you, you are expert in this. You explain to me what I am seeing. I think this and is just like, yeah, this. I think this, this is the very first time they're debuting the sport for Olympics. Yeah. So probably like Australia was like just one of those like last minute entries or something. I mean, yeah, maybe. Th well, this this person had to had win the entire like quali qualifiers to get in the Olympics, right? So that means that's the best they had, <laughs> right? So, right. And so it seemed like very last minute <laughs> in comparison to everyone else. Who who do you, do you know who got gold medal for that? By the way, or you know, you don't know. Right, one more thing. Oh, um. Uh, did you did you, uh, do you know who got gold medal for the break break dancing portion? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Let's see. Olympics. Okay, it's gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> Not the actual medal, but you know. <laughs> uh, E Kim from Canada. Canada, okay, okay. Was no, it? That's just Mickey me. Is there? Is there like a what? Is it? Is it a uh, just female or no? no obviously, there's males, so but that, oh, yeah. So that's the men's side. On the women's side, okay. Japan. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> but the Canada thing. Sorry, I was thinking of um. It's an old joke from, um. VH is VH1. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. VH1. Yeah. Um, series of I Love the 90s. And it, they were talking about the guy who sang Informer. Uh huh. And then I forget who made the joke, but they were like, picture this a white reggae rapper from Canada and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is, that is, yeah. Man. I, I I miss VH1 back when it was like uh well first off a music channel but it kind of like did be in, like a, but it it slowly became a, a reality show or reality yeah. show channel thing and then um yeah. they did the I love 80s 70s whatever right yeah that whole series yeah I like that those series like yeah that was a good in between mostly, yeah because they had 
Because when you think about it, from the seventies to like what early two thousand, we had yeah. really good music. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Our generation, uh, the nineties. I don't know. We what? We were taken over by you know. Girl groups, then solo girls, then boy bands. Boy bands, yeah. And then what? At the end, the tail end of the nineties was the Latin explosion. Oh yeah, it it, it had all those like, like. I don't want to say weird, but like just like that, like that w unique combination. So yeah, you know, like we had like Smash Mouth and like, um, yeah. Smash Mouth, Bowling for Soup, and yeah. But let me let me say, if I went back to the nineties, fuck no, I would love to. I would like to relive the fucking Latin explosion again. <laughs> yeah. Every house on my damn street was either playing fucking Ricky Martin or Mark Anthony, and I was like, Oh, oh yes. shit. <laughs> yeah, or um, and I was like, Jesus Christ, listen to something else. Mm -hmm. Thank God, my neighbor on my, oh, on this side of the house was playing like fucking Slipknot and all that, and I was like, Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actual music. <laughs> what was his name? Um, he had a song that went like uh, a little bit of whatever, like a little bit of Tina by my side, a little bit of um, oh, this by oh. my side, or yeah, something like that. You know, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Oh my god! It was Mumble Number Five. Oh man! Oh, yeah. Oh, Lou Vega. Lou Vega. Lou Vega. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes, man. Something like, yeah. Yeah, Lou Vega, oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Is he Ger is he from German? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did not know that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hey, okay, he is a German. Oh my god. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even know that. I'm learning something every fucking day. <laughs> Yeah, he had his own. He had his own like little little genre too. Yeah, Latin. Right there, you go. Latin hip hop. <laughs> had his own little spin to the Latin game. Yeah, Mambo number five. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Those were the days, man. Those were the days, man. And of course, bye, bye, bye. Right, you know that at one point. Yes, 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 Kitty. What do I mean? Backstreet Boys, you know, you got back, you got Backstreet Boys, uh, 98 Degrees, remember that shit? Backstreet Boys, 98 Degrees, Boys, Boys to Men, Boys to Men, mm -hmm. LFO, um, yeah, man. Out of my Oh, I just got a text from my boyfriend friend calling me a dumb shit. <laughs> oh, did you send him the, the picture with uh, what you call Zuan or whatever? Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. This motherfucker, man. <laughs> this motherfucker. He said that. How much did you spend? I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> He's like, yes. You son of a bitch. I, 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 um, <laughs> I think I went pretty far into my pity and then i got you in but still i mean i'm I, i'm not gonna complain you, at the end. yeah but yeah but you didn't throw money no i didn't throw no no yeah see this man didn't throw money nope on that that stream that he got you in he saved them yep. he didn't care about any other fucking banners at the time he saved well i did i got I, I got lucky off of ellen because i did a single pull yeah. and i got lucky with ellen for sure so that's I think that's what definitely uh, helped for sure, because I, I I saved that shit. I don't I don't I didn't like dump my polychromes or whatever you call it um into the standard banner like some uh some people do because of the uh, the three hundred thing where yes you do get a guaranteed five star like of your choosing, but that's very un unoptimal because you're gonna eventually get there, you know, with the free um, master tapes or whatever you call them. And then you're supposed to save the 
poly stuff, the polychromes for the limited banners because those are those are the the big boy units because they're gonna be, they're gonna be the ones to power creep the standard units at one point. Yep. Right. That's just kind of how it goes, man. That's how the, that's how the game uh, kind of rolls for a lot of gotcha games anyway. All right. Anyway, so let's uh, talk about one thing about fighting games. Well, actually, there's kind of like two, but one of them is a clip. Two. But yeah. But uh, this one. Yes. Which? Wow. Who would have guessed? Who would have <laughs> guessed? Right. Who would have guessed for um, Fatal Fury, uh, City of the Wolves, right? That um, the angel himself, Rock Howard, has made into the roster, the right? Ad for... <laughs> the adopted son of Terry. Yes, yes, Rock Howard has come into the mix here. Oops, sorry. I swear that the first few chords of that, I'm thinking of fucking Frasier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How about no? <laughs> <laughs> Again, kids, the, the art style that you see in this game, wouldn't it fucking look better if it was also in Infinite? Yes. In yes. <laughs> but you know, thank you, Max and his his team yes pretty much rebuilding the game the mod the team up. yes rebuilding um infinite for sure putting in the work man they're putting in the work hmm. now, who taught you that you right <laughs> So again, with um, Barry and my showing up in Street Fighter, Street Fighter Six, yeah, as guest characters. Yes. What Street Fighter characters should should make an appearance in City of the Wolves? Oh uh, man, that's uh, I want to like I kind of want to say Ken just because he has a th he has a thing with Terry, right? With the hat yeah. throw thing. With the hat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if we're gonna go with the same structure as we did, one guy, one girl. One guy, one girl. Um, it probably so, so for you will be Ken, then who will be the your female? Girl? Well, okay. So personally, okay. personally, I would like to see um, uh, if we're gonna if we're just gonna talk about Street Fighter Six, yes, I would say I would say Kimberly. Um, I think Kimberly mm -hmm. would be. A pretty cool choice. Yeah, she, she, yeah. Would fit, she would fit in. Yeah, for and sure. Also with the uh, art style. Yes. On top of Kimberly from City of the Wolf. It yes. Would look nice. Yeah, the spray paint and everything. That would. I, I think that would work flawlessly. Yeah. But if, we're, if we're talking about like general Street Fighter stuff. Yeah, Jen. Like, um, I personally would like would love to see Alex. Right, of course, I'm an Alex, you know, player. But um, female would be Sakura just because I like uh, Sakura a little more um, when it comes to the female side of things that's me what about you okay if we just grab people straight from Street Fighter 6 yeah the male the male side I want to say Luke Luke would like fit because oh yeah He's a he's pretty much an MA and he's also a teacher, so he could also teach new moves to like the rock or other um, upcoming. There could be a story characters. behind it, yeah. Yeah. And you know, he's supposed for to be the boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For female because she's famous in Street Fighter lore and she probably pretty much goes around the world doing events. Manon. So she could have gone to Fair. you know that is a, City yeah. of the Wolves taking place and there was a event. That is a fair like choice. A yeah. Event yeah, 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 yeah. There that is a very fair uh sort of assessment slash reason of why would you would pick Manon for uh for something like this. Yeah. It does make sense. She goes around the world, yeah. But yeah. now for general. Yeah, for general. General all around. Yes. 
if he wasn't dead in Street Fighter lore, Gen. Gen will be the yeah the male. Right. He's that old, he's that old, you know, the old master, the old teacher. So him and Mr. Karate, if Mr. Karate makes mm, it, you know, yeah, rivalry. yeah. For the female, I know I might get killed later. Makoto. You know, that would be really cool Put actually in because in, in this in this in this freaking art style, holy shit. Yeah. Plus her attacks are gonna look beautiful and when she does her uh, uppercut. Yes. Um plus there is the character, I forget his name, is like Marco something, uh Fatal Fury. I think it was um Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's the karate master with the uh, pompadour. Uh, I think he's Brazilian or something. Oh. Um, oh, Steve's character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. That is such a Steve character. Like, yeah. I mean, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, he, he did say it. Like, oh, that's my character. He's yeah. my voice, and I'm like, oh. Rodriguez. Yeah. Oh yeah. Marco oh. Rodriguez. That would be a good like pairing or rivalry with, with uh, Makoto and Makoto and uh, Marco. Yeah. Um, since you brought up Alex, fucking Tizok. Right? Yeah, Tizok and Alex would have been a good uh, rival like pair too. And then with Sakura, since you brought her up, um, what's her name? The one by Tizok? To the left of him? Oh, Hotaro, the yeah. Right. Hotaro. Yeah, Hotaro and Sakura probably like. Yeah. Might have similarities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Searching for a brother, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. Like, well, we we still have to see like who else makes it into the roster too, because there's still more. They're adding. Yeah, they're, they're they're still adding more. I still to this day, I still fucking hate uh, Billy's new redesign. Put the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It just looks weird without it. I know. This looks like some. Um, yeah, this looks like one of the concept arts or something. Yeah, like, that... I'm sorry, everyone. If you like this this new um, iteration of Billy, props to you. I grew up with Billy having the bandana. The bandana, bandana. yeah. Sorry. This <laughs> looks. Me. Yeah, this looks like an alt skin. That's what I. That's like. It's either an alt skin or it looks like a protege of Billy, but yeah, kind of like how in Soul Calibur they had the protégés or the yeah the the, the kids the, yeah the, yeah the kids and mm -hmm. that didn't go that didn't go that did not go well. <laughs> it's like nice concept, no character building. No, because what was it? Uh, Sofitia's daughter was just a. Freaking crybaby until mm -hmm. she got possessed. And then um the her son, right? Uh yeah, her son was a hard ass. Yeah, hard ass, like kinda eh, yeah. They, they weren't kind of like kind of like the the over like I will bring justice for all. It's like yeah. sit down, Junior. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sit down. Yeah. <laughs> You're still a kid, sit down. <laughs> yeah, still a lot unless of you can go unless you can Hit Nightmare's ass with your hands tied behind your yeah, ass. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Yep. He's like, how can you defeat Nightmare? I have my ways. Mm -hmm. It's not safe, but I have my ways. Yeah. Uh, there's still... Yeah, my Shinonui is a given. Like, she'll definitely uh, appear for sure. Uh, this It says, what? like, Hook Tomorrow and Gato are likely to appear, but just because of the voices are in the... The trailer, I apparently so. I do, or hopefully they do make it to um, the Fatal Fury stuff. Uh huh. Even though he's more KOF, but because when I think of KOF Fatal Fury, I want to see Andy. Yeah. Show, um, show me Andy. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah. Oh, well, it says confirmed only by illustration. So, yeah, I mean, it like, says yeah. Andy right here. So, and, Joe, and he got, she had, well, Joe, Joe is in Fatal Fury. So he has to, he has to appear pretty much. Um, I don't know about, about Kane. Uh, oh, oh, okay. It's this guy. Okay. Okay. 
I, I didn't, I didn't recognize I would him by I love it. to see in this art, this art direction for this game, mature. Mm. I would love to see her, her attacks in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and how, sorry, should I go back up on the comfort characters? Oh, yeah. Their artworks? We only have one cutesy girl. It's just right. um, Potato. Potaro, yeah. Fuck it. I'll, I'll be I'll be fine if you throw in Athena. I'll be fine. Athena, yeah. Just throw in there. <laughs> can I give her give her her more classic look or update it to maybe she kind of looks now more like a sailor scout? Uh-huh. Because again, everyone, that's what her basis of her character was, was based off Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. It was a Maho Shoujo. Maho Shoujo, yeah. She's a Maho Shoujo tropey, tropey kind of character for sure. But yeah, we'll still we'll still get more characters. So um, I'm sure it'll look a little more um, flourish, right? A little, a little more, yeah. Oh, yeah. But for now, yeah, we got a uh, we got Rock um, with the English voice and oh, uh, the English voice. Yeah, with the English voice, Do yeah. We have the Japanese voice version? Yes. Um, right here, in fact. I'll bring this up. I'm just going to say, you know what, people are saying. Two out of the three big bad. Right. <laughs> right. Two out of the three big bad dads are mm -hmm. still alive. Yeah. We're, we're, just, we're just waiting on um, geese. Mm hmm. Right. People have been kind of thinking Geese might come back because Heihachi came back. So it's like, yeah, fighting game villains, right? They, t tr they totally die. Again, the the shadowing and the after images look so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna say this now because I saw it in action in in Evil. This video does not do it justice. Actually, seeing it in person, I'm like, holy shit, you're beautiful. Right, right. That's right. Yeah, because you're at Evil, right? So you know, you definitely had yes. your true kind of sort of more, more first person experience. Yeah, my, my eyes were were like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it was open. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but, I'm oh, sure. Shit. I'm sure yeah. seeing the actual game is definitely um. An eye opener in, yeah. in comparison to just watching the trailers. Yeah, watching the trailers. Mm -hmm. But just hearing people like for 25 minutes asking like the mechanics, I was like, oh, lovely game, not for me. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> on average, that's why the lines are long, was people learning the mechanics. Yeah, they want to learn the game. Which I'm glad that they did that. They allow that, like, um, players, you know, taking the extra time to learn to get the... the mechanics and yes. then have their official best two out of three. Yeah, yeah, whereas, yeah, yeah. Like, whereas, like, um, X2 Gale, you pretty much learn on the fly, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get get your two out of three. Okay, you're done. Okay, stand in line or go to the other line. Mm -hmm. Um. What else? Same thing with a uh, sparking, sparking zero. zero. Oh yeah, yeah. With DBZ, uh, what did the controls think of Budokai? But more. Okay, good luck. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Was the line I, I for play... that long? You said you did you see or uh, do, or do you remember seeing so, the line? Okay. So we're gonna do like bird's eye view. So this is the booth of a. Uh, uh -huh. Sparking Zero, you enter this like this way, and it had like cabinets here for Sparking Zero, and then um, Tekken Eight over here. Uh -huh. So the Tekken Eight went this way, and it stopped like right here. Right. Sparking Zero did this. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then they had to cut it because you know a lot of people were. You know, lining up. It was kind of near the entrance, so you know, fire hazard. Fire hazard, yeah, they to, yeah. Had to cut it, but I was like, "Do I really want to play it?" No. Right. Do I want to play it? Perhaps later. Right, right, right. Like and, actually, and like later. Did, yeah. Yeah, 
and later it didn't happen because uh Friday I was just pretty much like saying hi to like most mods, Peters and all that. Yes. Saturday was just hang out with some of the dudes and then Sunday was again hang out with some of the other mods and then disappeared from stream. Right, because of uh yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because of my adventures. Yes. Yep. But either way, um, the game still looks good. Rock is rock, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm a little disappointed he's not I'll, like I'll saying. Him... Oh, sorry. Um, I'm a little disappointed he's not saying like the lines, right? Like you know, like rising tackle. You know, the the, the um the names of the tax as much, but he still says uh you know again, this, power geyser. This, this yeah. is a trailer, so probably the um recording. Yeah is done but at the time of putting this together maybe uh time. right 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 or they maybe have the multiple lines i don't know i mean they're not gonna just always say attack names i don't know I maybe mean, that could be a a feature of itself we'll see uh yep does the power geyser everything blah blah, blah. so it, it's rock like it, you know you know so, so for the rock and i'm gonna say this with um say of the wolves yeah their stages and their background and you know the the set pieces looks more alive than you know current uh fighting game stages it, it is more on the lively side for sure it does have that the vibes the energy for sure to match city of the wolves and i think it does that better with uh or in comparison to um other fighting games yeah for sure I think they learned a lot from uh, 15, so that's why Fatal Fury S yes, does feel like the most um, updated SNK game. Updated, and yeah, polished, polished, yeah, for sure. I think they now yeah, like they know what they're doing with their art style, so that I think they're gonna take definitely like double down on this art style, maybe for uh, what was it? Yeah, KOF 16, yeah. Like whenever that comes around, like they'll probably just do the cell shading thing, plus maybe like a, something a little different or something. We'll see. And again, um, everyone, just gotta remember if we're doing if they're doing cell shading, it's not an easy thing. You really have to pay attention to your light source. For sure, for sure. It does have its uh, ups and downs for sure in comparison to uh, the realistic, you know, art art direction but the end result is very different that's one way to put it it does have a different vibe to it for sure all right so um this one or i the one i did want to share um let me just go down it's a clip from tekken 8 that I wanted to share because it, it is zany it's almost like the same kind of like vibe as Another clip, but uh, we'll just go ahead and play this one. I'm dead. <sighs> he, gets, he really gets all that shit, bro. Wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. Did, so, did he ultra instinct him? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much this moment right here, right? <laughs> so, Steve has that, like, that that sway swaying mechanic as a boxer and he can like sway backwards and um does like an upper punch and sometimes it, it catches people but the fact that it caught him while he was backwards or has has his back turned toward uh towards um kazuya and kazuya tried to like high jab him um that, that's like wow i did not think that would catch him like that and, and it put him into a um a crumple state yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> ring, ring. Hey, how are the sun? Yeah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yep. Very pretty unique um interaction there. I would say um it, it put him in the crumble state because yeah, of course it's a yeah. it's a counter hit. So, oh well. <laughs> you imagine, imagine this was that evil? Oh my god! How many people would have lost their shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this is like yeah, that would have been. Um, like, I think people would have been like 
flabbergasted, and then after the match ends, they all be staring at Harada going like, "Yeah, yep." <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I, I would I would say keep this because he kind of yeah. I mean I don't know. It's such a pretty unique interaction. It is. Yeah. But again, it's like. It's just the the the, the you you know ultra instinct fucking zip. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if that was lag or um <sighs> collision of um two animations or or it's, you know, I don't know. Apps. Now to be fair, this Kazuya player kept spamming that that punch at the end, so that's how he kind of like switched yeah. sides like that, all weird like. But. The fact that the sway and the punch still hit um, Kazuya while he was still facing backwards and then put him into a crumble state is is something, right? Like, yeah, that is that is worthy of a, uh, a, a clip for sure. And yeah, I mean, that's when you don't get mad. You just go like wow. you, you're just like impressed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. You know? Yeah, you just turned into um, Bowling Wilson. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Wow. Uh, and then there was this old clip of uh K Brad getting mixed by the uh the the um Kage player here online. Well, I think I saw this one. I was like laughing my ass yes. off. Yes. I'm gonna block this whack ass mix up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like this confidence. It's like oh. He's just doing shit. I, I'm gonna block. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. That's the that's <laughs> the vibe. Like, that is the vibe, right? Like, pretty, like if someone was was like behind him, they would be like screaming in his ear. You thought? Mm hmm. Yeah, you thought. He was so confident. Like, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna take this mix up, whatever. But it's just like, yeah, it's like, what? it's like I seen it. I seen this mix up. I know how to counter it. I'm counter it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it took him like a full ass second to like react to. I'm a block this whack ass mix up. Yeah. Fucking Kage, man. I bet you I think his soul left him that day. That, 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 yeah, that yeah. From that day on. <laughs> like it, it was like an anime style. You'll see like the soul just popping out of the mouth and going like, hey, I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Fighting games, shit happens. Yeah, dude. Yeah, for just sure. Like, just like in Evil with um, with um, Arslan F. For fucking that last, that last um fight. Mm -hmm. We all thought he was gonna get hit with that, but nope. He he found a way. Yeah. Now, to close out on the fighting game portion of things, you're you were the one who was able to at least put some time into to XKO with the alpha out, right? So um if you can be brief about it. I mean, but if you I'll wanna you know if you wanna talk if you wanna talk about it, talk about it. Like yeah. What do you think uh, of two X uh, no, uh, so, so far? Two XKO. Okay, from a fighting game perspective, per, um person that grew up with um motion you know motion um motion inputs i had to fucking force myself to turn that side of my brain off so wait so so, so wait say that again like about the the inputs uh, so so you know when you i grew up playing fighting games with motion you know inputs you know, yes circles, full circle and stuff yes i had to turn it off i had to turn my brain off uh -huh. like this is not that game it's yeah. directional. You do this special, you do forward. So I was like, it's not, it's not direction. It's mm -hmm. not motion. It's smash. That's all yeah, I had to do. Yeah, yeah. To I think of it like smash. I was like, uh -huh. I was like it's it's Smash Bros. It's Smash Bros. Or as um, Vito Fo was saying, um, it's Power Rangers. You know, Battle of the Grid. And I'm yeah, going like, that's... I never played that fucking game. <laughs> it's like I never played that game. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. That was the thing I was like um, hearing about was that it's more like Power Rangers than Marvel or whatever, or anything else really. And the, yeah, the the directional thing and all that stuff. I've been hearing like yeah, it, like it's it's actually like hard in a way because everyone's so used to doing like you said like the motion the motion inputs. 
right but you're just doing like these even, simple uh, yeah yeah like keters like i think it was keters like mostly like you know i'm saying like you know it's hard for it, it's a fun game but it's hard to you know like you know get out of that mindset like, mm-hmm. oh no it, it's not a motion it's direction mm-hmm yeah, Keters. He says, uh, XTO is pretty good, but man, do I wish there was an option for motion inputs. Yeah. I know, right? Being born into motion inputs kind of have to take a step back and relearn play styles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah. But again, once you get the repetition of, you know, just the basic um, B&Bs of your one character, and it's like, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Like um, Bromir. Yes. So in game of League of Legends, he's so he's a support tank. Uh huh. In here, he's a bruiser. Like, like holy shit! Like some of his like easy as B and B. I'm like, wow, that's damage. Mm-hmm. I feel like like Brom is here. I'm gonna kick your ass with my fucking door. Mm-hmm. Come here. No, yeah. Um, the tag system kind of got to get used to mm-hmm. for a bit. Because if you're solo, um, it's much easier to recognize the uh, the directional because you either um, double tap or hold to do a quick tag. Mm-hmm. And then your assist is either forward tag or back tag. So it depends on, like, you just got to get used to, like, Who's your team? What do their um, assist action? Do? Yeah. Who's your daddy? What does he do? <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. What does he do? He yeah. makes me pregnant. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty much a three, uh, a pr- pretty much a three button system, right? Because yeah. you have the light, so medium, that's heavy. That's where people yeah. got the idea. Oh, it's Marvel because you know, it's pretty much light, medium, heavy, and T slash special. Like yeah. Specials are are up here uh-huh uh-huh and and yes in in the alpha demo you can remap your controls yes so that's a good thing yes oh wow. i haven't mm. tried done the parry as much because i think it's like a perfect parry you gotta it's oh like you gotta a, time it yeah yeah you cannot just like spam it out like it's yeah six. Mm-hmm. it's three fire six yeah but again like uh the combo strings are pretty much like easy light medium light medium heavy to special one to launcher do do small little air combos bring down and then light light into another special and then into a hyper combo Mm -hmm. and it's on a surface level, the combo structure is basic as fuck. Ah, uh, right. But once you start adding your, you know, your tag team mechanics into it, you can actually go super long. You can add, okay, yeah, you're like you can add that depth by incorporating your tag stuff <clears throat> somewhere. Okay. And then there are characters with their assists, and if it lands. Because there is damage scaling, but if you're, but with certain characters and their assists, they can reset the damage. Um, oh, scaling. Okay. I learned that. I learned that last night with um, Darius and Ilawi. So Ilawi's one of her um, assist action. She slams if it hits. She slams the her um, weapon down Mm -hmm. and a tentacle pops up and it Mm -hmm. will just stay on field until your main character does a neutral a neutral um heavy or or any any neutral um, button Mm -hmm. attack button yeah what i see most darius do is they do the little small b and b ilawi assist another small b and b a small launcher bring bring down the person, the tentacle wraps around, holds them, 
Uh huh. And your damage is reset. Wow. And your count, your count is reset, and so, but you can, but they're still in a crumpled state. Oh. And you can continue. Wow. When I found that, when I saw that, I was like, "That's a dirty." Yeah, that, that's 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 ugly. That's like, a dirty. What are you. That is a dirty reset. My, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, don't put this on the net. Now you're going to show people what to do. Right. Now people want to learn her, right? Like, at least for the hardcore people, right? You know. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. yes, there are characters right now that has infinite moves. Or one, you know, one touch kills and whatever you want to call it. Yeah. R is the biggest one because mm. hers is very simple, but it. How can I make it like? It's not as complicated as doing Morgan loops, but it's almost like it. But it's just simplified, if that makes sense. You still have to practice for it, but it's not yeah. long, like, or it's not long of a practice, like Morgan's loops. Yeah, it's okay. not tedious. It's not, it's not, not as tedious, tedious, but your your fingers are gonna have a workout. Right. Sure. Um, Braum does have one, but it's not optimal. It's just mm. for swag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Darius really doesn't have one. He's just mainly like, one, two, three, I pull you down. One, two, three, I pull you near me. One, two, three, launch you, pull you down. One, two, three, and then hyper combo. Yeah, yeah. And then for, uh, I don't think I scroll down if they talk about it. Oh no! So I forgot what what it's called in in this uh, game. But think of it like the groove settings from you know CBS. And mm. stuff. Okay. So there's groove setting, pulse, um, partner. So Pulse is the main one. That's the version that that's the groove that you would do the loop. I hit one button to do simple combos. I hit a oh. yeah, so that's your modern controls. Wow. The other one is like um you can do the assist attack twice in one you know in one go, but then the cooldown is longer. Back yeah. is long. Yes. Uh, the other one is um, pretty much when you do team hyper combos. When you are about to do your hyper combo, uh, your partner will do it, do theirs as well. Mm, okay. And then the other one is, um, I believe it's called freestyle, and you can handshake or you can tag in like as many times as you want. So you're in the middle of one one combo with your main, tag in your your second your second guy, do their little thing, then tag again to your main, do that, and, and mm -hmm. it's like you're pretty much dance if uh -huh. you can you know do it because um you can only you can only do it twice before they pop out. Mm -hmm. So like for Ilawi, because she has a a way to launch people, and if you have the tentacles, it'll bring them back down and do like a small ground bounce. Right. But on the second, so if you have two tentacles, one will grab, do the ground bounce. If you launch them again, the grab will just do a not a hard knockdown. And if you do have meter, you can do her first um, hyper combo, which is like a a sweet part. Mm. And it's it's also a grab, so you be like, yeah, got it. Bang, oh, bang, God, yeah. bang, done. But yeah, yeah, it's fun. It just takes takes a uh, takes some use to. Right, right. Just like anything, you gotta sit down and learn these mechanics. You know, yeah. um, a lot Which of which I re oh, go ahead. I recommend for those who got in or about or about to get in. Training mode. Go training mode. Learn your basic BNBs. Yeah. When you do go into the live lobby, just be prepared to see Ari and Darius with Pulse because that's pretty much the uh, 
Yeah. Not the noob killer, but that's pretty much what everyone is using because of the uh the weekly and the daily um shit. Because there there's a uh not a battle pass, but a progression pass. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Like a maybe. yeah, there's like achievements and stuff. Yeah. For you to do, okay. Like if you reach um level ten, you get the Yasuo skin, and then oh. if you reach level twenty, you get the Ari skin. Got it. But that's the thing I I don't know if they were um vocal about that. If you don't get them, you you know it's like oh if you didn't get them during this this demo, don't worry. You'll have your second shot at um when the game comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like with Marvel Rivals, um, the blue skin Venom is hard lock to the demo. Oh, so wow. those who got it got it. Those who didn't get it or even got into the beta, it's either I'm sorry, tough shit, or you hope that they bring it into the shop. Yeah, buy it. I'm sure they will. That's uh, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. all all I remember from that battle, the battle pass for Marvel Rivals is like, reach level thirty to get blue venom as a permanent. Yeah. Who knows? But for you, you have until. Well, I think what eight, seven more days to play to play with it. Yeah, yeah. I say don't, don't, don't rush. Like if you just want to learn and play the game, don't rush on the, uh, on that little battle, battle pass. Um, find, find someone to you know do some sets in, um, in a private, in a private um room that you mm -hmm. can set up. Which, holy shit, I'm sorry, X2KO, you are too fucking MOBA on your um, UI. It is <laughs> fucking horrendous. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, it took me three minutes to fucking navigate, like, where? How? How mm -hmm. to add somebody? How to set up? Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Mm hmm Yep. That's, uh, and yeah. If the little things. But I don't know how, how you would do it, but if you can find like three other people so you can do like two V two and try and do that. Oh yeah, so they have the actual like okay, you can like uh team up with your with other like three okay, okay, okay. With other people. Yeah, you so can like co op it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it could be like you, you and Seth versus just me. Like I'm uh -huh. solo and then you you and Seth are gonna have to fucking communicate. When to tag yeah. in, when to tag out, when to do um uh com when to combo break him. You, know, you guys are gonna have to coordinate with that. Uh-huh. But yeah, so I mean, that's why like mm -hmm. when you when you do team like team stuff like this in this game, it's kinda of, you either you can read people's minds or you better be on Discord or some voice channel and go like I'm coming. Tag me in. Tag me in. Yeah, like my uh, hand. No, it's, it's my hand. Yeah. yeah, no, it's uh like Pacific Rim. You're like synced, <laughs> synchronized. Yeah. Yeah, because that's how me and viewers when we were trying to de demo. Like I know we're not supposed to say when we're going to tag, but you know. Yeah. We're learning the game, so I'm like, tag out, tag out, tag mm -hmm. me in, tag me in, <laughs> save yourself. Yeah. I will be the the bot here. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, how uh, did you play? So you played online, yes? Have you tried yeah, online? Yeah, I played online. How was so? How was the net code? Yeah. Okay, so on PC, it's fine from what people are saying. Okay. On consoles, I don't know if the uh, update rolled out, but on consoles, it was weird. Ooh. You would get the like the like stutters in mid match, but because they have rollback, you know, it quickly fixes it. So it's yeah. Like, uh, uh, uh. It's okay. Like, oh. It's like, oh, okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the lobby, just, you know, idle, watch. And, oh, the lobby system is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So in, so you can go to every cabinet. And depending if you're on pad or controller or stuff. Yeah. You can hit, well, if you're on PS, you can hit L1 near a cabinet of two people playing. And you can watch them. Mm. 
in real time oh, nice. their match. And you can hit L1 again to full screen it. And oh. I'm like, I'm like, oh. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. And then there's like the main stage where you know it's the act where you know you don't need to press L1. It's an actual like main stage, big ass TV, and then you can just watch people fight and you're like, oh, so that's what he's doing in that yeah, yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I like about the lobby system. Mm -hmm. The and again, this is an alpha build. Not it's not ironed out yet. There's still some kinks. Yeah, there are times that I'm idle, I'm idle, and I'm just watching, and I get kicked out. Mm hmm. Okay. Not because of inactivity. It's just like server disconnect or the game crashes. Yeah. And you know, I send the bug reports. I wrote on Twitter. You know, to X two K O like, hey. Game's fun so far. I guess the lobbies, the the lobby structure is not you know not sound yet. There's still some hitches here and there, but you know it's like overall it's like overall it's fun. Okay. I think a lot of people at the moment are going to ask for posts to be reduced in damage or some or something like that. Because yeah. There are some characters you can tell that Pulse is going to be their, you know, their crowning achievement. Yeah, the, that that's like their go-to for that character or whatever, yeah. Yeah, because some characters really do have fast animation or fast frames. Yeah. That's why I would choose them. Mm -hmm. I see. But again, again, overall, I'm hoping, because I did talk about it like a few... Um, podcasts ago after talking to some of the one of the developers i hope the roster is a little bit big so at least 30 let's go with 30, 30 right. characters mm -hmm. for representation of the regions so league of legends um, or root terra's regions have a good balance of representation um characters so i again i, I suggested like three from each region because right now for ionia you have yasuo and ari so that means you only need one more to complete that three yeah um for build water you only have ilawi so you need two more people yeah then you have the freyor which is only brahm at the moment so you need two more people and then for Zon, you only have Echo for now. But I know, I know Jinx is playable. So technically, you have Echo and Jinx mm -hmm. for to represent Zon. Yeah. And then for Noxus, that is where Darius is from. So you have Darius, and then you just need two more people. Mm -hmm. And then what the developers said at Evo, still don't know why they didn't. No one leaked it out yet, but I'm going by what they said to me. Mostly all the roster, the the roster is going to be made up from arcane, you know. So, because why not? Right. Yeah. So again, don't worry about asking where Vi and Jinx and Caitlyn are are going to be. It's like no, they're they're guaranteed. Okay. It's just that now, are they going to put in Warwick? and victor and jace but i don't know about victor he, where he is in in the actual league of legends game he is he is not there yet in in the series uh -huh. but i think of um where victor is right now in the series he's only level i'm gonna go by um i'm gonna go by levels like actual art you know, uh, JRPG. He's only level 20 where mm. he is in lore wise. He's like level 100. Oh, okay. he's, he's a long way from where he's where he is in in League of Legends lore. Mm -hmm. Unless they speed it up in season this upcoming season. Which is series finale. Season two is the series finale of Arcane. I'm like, what? Why? 
Oh, wow. Hmm. Like how how much info dump are you gonna do in this in this season? How many episodes was was uh for the first season? Like eight? Damn, okay. There probably is going to be another series, I'm sure. Yeah, so... Uh, season 1 had... Eh? Oh, Season 1 had 9. Hmm. Season 1 had 9, okay. Like, I, I'm sure they're going to have, like... Because Arcane focused on... Zon. And, and I forgot the other... And pit over. Uh huh. So I'm hoping if they do another like League of Legends region, it's either gonna be the, um, uh, it's either gonna be the rise of Noctis, the Empire, Noctis's Empire, or Ionia, where we see the af not the aftermath, the war that's during um. Nox is trying to take over everything. Yeah. Or fuck yeah, do 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 fucking Shurima. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see the two brothers. Maybe two. You could do Targon, but then that will just focus on Tarek mm -hmm. and his um ascendants. For your, it's kind of. People might get too familiar with Norse mythology because that's what it's based off of. Build water. They did do some things with build water, but uh, they have so many regions they can like play around with. It just depends how they're gonna make, you know, how their character writing is gonna be. But some of these characters in League of Legends got a lot of changes to their background. Mm. their lore mm -hmm. Mm. yeah all right for you sir hurry up all right <laughs> lay it lay it or else I'll, I'll fly to your house uh, and <laughs> slam, slam you to your ps5 i'll try yeah i'll try to make time for it um i'll try to i'll probably just like sit down and just play it and then i'll probably like lab some more on stream or something so yeah um probably on sunday well as of, as of this recording uh, uh, probably on sunday because we record on saturday but yeah um probably sunday after dinner or something whatever but uh we'll see but uh hopefully like the following week i'll like maybe trinkle in my time into it probably like mostly labbing and then probably just like test driving the net code for a little bit and then yeah we'll go from there I know it's a little late, but I'm going to play the sound effect. This battle is about to explode. It's supposed to be a fighting game thing, but anyway, anyway, so um, I'll try. I try to. I'll try to get my hands on it. I know um, uh, a lot of people already have, including yourself. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully, um, I can have my input on that. Uh, so we'll see. All right, so let's go into um, the frontline side of things. Uh, that is it for fighting games for now. So let me go ahead and play this one. All right, so let's start off with the uh, the Olympic talk here because uh, Noah Lyles, uh, who previously was known to like um, pull out the blue eyes white dragon in one of his races, yeah, because you can kind of you, you can. Uh, I'll just mute it, but yeah. Um, there's a clip up there of him pulling out the card, right? Before he raced. Even Exodia, holy shit, that's kind of new to me, but. Um, and then he did the interview, like, you know, why'd you do that? Or what is this? You know, unfortunately, the interv interviewer did not is not aware of Yu Gi Oh!, but that's fine. But um, <laughs> Lyles, though, is a huge, like, Yu Gi Oh! fan, and even the. Uh, League of Legends to an extent because he said he, he wanted to go play League of Legends once this is all done. Um, when he once he gets home, 
So yeah. This guy went from just like, you know, racing, pulling out the blue eyes white dragon to um pulling the uh the win for uh gold. He he got gold for the I believe the yeah, the 100 meter uh sprint or dash. And he even uh did the he one more thing, right? He did the pose for the Kamehameha pose, right? And um yeah. So this guy this guy is um you know quite the uh quite the athlete, right? To say the least. Not only he is an aficionado and just like anime and you well, particularly Yu Gi Oh. And you know, in their culture. But uh he, he is a, a great runner. He 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 um he got the gold in the, some sort of uh, dragon uh, dragon field event at this Olympic uh, um, event for uh, Paris, right? Summer Olympics. So yeah, good stuff. Oh, even uh, Toei Animation put in a little little reply with a little clap and the smile emoji of sorts. Yeah, so who knew, right? Gaming nerds, you know. Right, can do it. Um, yeah. it does make me wonder, right? Like nowadays, especially if, like, in school, you get you get made fun of for being a nerd, right? As as it, as it was a very common in our in our time. I know I got my end of it, right? My I, I received my sort of like um so uh share of being teased. For just being a nerd and stuff like um whenever, whenever we play like Yu Gi Oh or whatever fucking tcg was out at the time like there were just those kids that um come by and bother us and stuff you know just because we're fucking nerds and everything but it's funny because like they pull they like they quote the show so it's like what does that make you, right? <laughs> so yeah. it's almost like they're projecting, right? <laughs> that they're nerds, but they don't want to like come off as nerdy or whatever. So it's like, yeah, now that you, now that is it is it like you know the um, it's like you know it's 2024. Why are you still fucking scared that you watch an anime? Yeah, right. Like, like Jesus Christ, <laughs> right. But yeah, like you, the only time, mm -hmm. the only time people are gonna beat you up if you're watching the wrong type of anime and saying it's pretty good. Yeah, I I think that's that's where it's going, right? Like if you watch, like okay, so like let's say like you you happen to like hang hang out with a group of like people who really like uh let's say, let's let's just say hypothetically like Log Horizon, and then you're the one guy that likes uh really likes like Sao or something, then like yeah okay maybe that's like where. Uh, you'll you'll get like bit, get poked fun of or something, but um, I think at this point it is like you're a little more safe. Let's just say of just liking nerdy shit. Which um, if that is the case, I don't know because I obviously we're we're way out of our uh way out of the the circle now. At this point, it's been plus fifteen years, right? You know, but or yeah. Somewhere in that range. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be that dumbass. I'm like, you know, talking about, you know, one type of genre. Now, like, I just pop in. I like Boku no Pico, and I just go oh, back in the man. shadows. And they're like, who was that? Right. And you're like, just, just, just ignore him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now that you know, but now that like you got like people like Ninja and like. Um, all those like popular people that are gamers, right? Happen to be gamers too. It's like, yeah, at that point, it's like, what's really, what's the kick you get out of for making fun of gamers at this point? Like, it's so like mainstream in comparison to before. Um, it makes more money than uh, than a lot of the movies nowadays, right? Like, or a number, of, a good handful of those movies, right? It's so like more ingrained into the culture, right? I think I feel like it. That's less of a thing, you know, because back then, gaming was just like a weird niche, a uh, hobby, in comparison. 
you know same with uh um tcg stuff like magic a pokemon you know um i remember though like uh when po pokemon was really popular but then there was digimon the Pokemon people made fun of Digimon, you know, <laughs> like, I was, like, in the middle, like, I both, I like both, but, like, <laughs> there was this, like, ongoing, like, sort of, like, fight, or not, quote-unquote, like, argument slash fight, whatever, right, what do you want to call it? It's basically the equivalent of, like, arguing on the internet nowadays, right, like, of, like, oh, you know, Goku can beat Superman, you know, that type of shit, like, you know, but Pokemon versus Digimon. <laughs> I remember... I even remember the the magazines, right, uh, from Beckett. If anyone remembers that name, that have the covers or artwork of of Pokemon vs Digimon, or even like in the in, inside the magazine or whatever, you have like the little poster. And one of them I can remember on top of my head is Lugia versus Palmon. I'm like, what? <laughs> What? Who, who decided to make this a thing, right? You know? So. Either way, either way memories, whatever, nostalgia. Um, it's cool to see this type of story. Um, where you have this big athlete, right? Big athlete, but he's a giant nerd on the inside. So that's cool. I like it. Have you kept up with the... The other Olympic stuff besides the you know like the the Turkish shooting thing or Turkish shooter the old guy right and then the um anything the else boxing you... one the boxing one the baby mm -hmm. can roll my eyes super hard oh right because the X Y thing right that yeah the X Y which a lot of people you know if you're if you're not you know not cursed with knowledge but if you don't know fucking stop thinking that you. Because uh -huh. a lot of people do have more chromosomes of one, one thing than the other. Yeah, that's why like, it's like, I'm sorry to say, there are some guys that look way more feminine than you know, women, and then vice versa. There are vice versa. Like, yeah. Look, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like more, more guys and and stuff, and it all comes down to genes. Like, mm -hmm. I just the most strongest. Right. Right. And it kind of goes like, you know, that whole, again, genes. You know, like when you're a child, oh, you look like your mom, or you look like your dad. And then when you grow older, it, it switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, you look more like your dad now than, you know, your mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, like, people calling her a trans, that's what she wants. It's like, no, she cannot be called that. Because in her culture, she would be dead right now. Mm -hmm. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah. 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 They, I don't know where people are like trying to put political shit into something that shouldn't even be here. Yeah. That's. That's, that's what, Yeah. It's just ignorance, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, there, there are people, there are men that have a little more estrogen in their system more than your average guy that type of stuff too right and the other other way around too like women have a little more, there's some women that have a little more testosterone in their system than the average woman same shit same or similar concept right i mean there's always going to be those exceptions and stuff like that and then if you want to go into another thing that's kind of similar is that oh you know when it comes to like basketball you have all these like tall ass people right but then you know like that those are those are like the exceptions right you know that's why they're at, they're 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 here in the nba they're they're fucking tall they're very athletic they're they they're they're kind of like the best right you know yep. and versus uh of course you got you got like the shorter people all that stuff that that whole argument too it's like you know not every not everyone's going to be that fucking tall or not everyone's that short same thing same or similar thing not everyone has this amount of testosterone right for guys and then some guys have a little more est estrogen it's, it's similar thing right we all have our little little special thing going on right snowflakes 
right? Everyone's a little different, you know? And some people are very diff more different than others. That's just how kind of how life works, you know? And then you have the Paralympics and then that's a whole nother discussion, right? So, you know, <laughs> anyway, so, um, when it comes to me, I've, I didn't, I didn't like, I, I'm aware of that situation, but I didn't pay attention to that uh, as much. What I was kind of more paying attention to was like the sort of like the more disastrous aspect of the Paris Olympics because, um, Paris is like food first off was apparently like um not well maintained because like they didn't have enough food I I think but also like the selection was like not great <laughs> from what I've been hearing in comparison to like Japan because like all the Olympians love Japan Japanese food right and especially with um the gyoza <laughs> which is which is funny because it was just like the frozen Ajinomoto um, gyoza, but everyone loved that shit. It was like scarfing down that shit in comparison to like other Japanese food, even within that. And then of course it was sushi. Everyone loved sushi, right? It was eating the sushi up, but also, but mostly the gyoza, from what I've heard anyway. That's which is kind of funny to me. But Paris was like a very mixed bag. People were also uh, angry because there weren't as much uh, meat options. And for some reason, Paris is like pushing more of the, the vegan vegetarian options. And so like a lot of the Olympians, what they did was they had to bring their own personal chefs to prepare them the, the meat dishes and all that stuff because they want the protein, right? A lot of the athletes want the, the more like, you know, well, animal based protein in their diets. So that was happening. And then um, one of the events, I think it was like triathlons or something. Anything involved with swimming that got off a river, right? People were getting sick, like, um, the dirt because the water was so dirty. Like, it's, uh, because it had, like, runoff from the sewage or something. It's, oh, this is disgusting, you know? Um, people were sick by the end of it or during the race or something, whatever, they, during the event. People were vomiting out the water, like, <laughs> you know, it's, awful but the uh the Fran the french government was like oh it's fine whatever you know who cares about the river kind of thing right so that's why um people of paris or just france in general are, were all are always up up um um are on their ass about that like yeah of course that's why you kind of see the uh the riots and the protests and stuff like that in france because their government their government kind of um ain't the best <laughs> to put it to put it one way yeah so stuff like that um does kind of bleed into the this olympics so it's like a bit of a mixed bag but there's also of course like the good moments right like like this for example and lyle's and all that stuff um you know all the gold medal moments and stuff like that you have the you, of course you have the funny moments blah 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 you name it so that's the Olympics for you. Um, well, yeah, it's coming to a close. The uh, closing ceremony is tomorrow Tomorrow, as of this recording. So they're wrapping it up. Um, I, I even heard something like some funny weird thing happened with uh, the opening ceremony, but I don't, I don't know the, like the exact details, but whatever. Just one more thing about Paris, right? Just, just it's like you would think it's this like this beautiful city and all that stuff, this Rome, you know, the city of romance, blah, blah, blah. But like, you know, once you kind of like really look into it, it's just, you see the, uh, more of the dark sides of Paris, you know, or, or, or maybe, in, or, or just France in general, you know, you kind of all, all, uh, it's almost like, uh, like France is a little more like two faced than what we think, but yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you could say the same for like California too. Like the California beaches, people be, think of beaches, right? When it, when it comes to California, but oh my God, let me tell you, you do not want to visit. You do not want to go in that water, man. <laughs> for a lot of those beaches, yeah, like, <laughs> like Simmons was talking about 
the the beaches that uh-huh. he likes the beaches here in Hawaii because you know they're they're nice and you know you can actually swim in it. <laughs> and I was like, "Why? What's wrong with California Beach?" And he just looked at me dead in the eye, going like, "Do you want to die?" <laughs> it's like, it's like whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, no, like, whoa, what does that mean? It's like you're not gonna see your foot mm-hmm. when you put it in the water. I was like, "Oh, yeah." It's like, oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, when you go into when you go actually go into the water, yeah, it's just it's actually pretty murky and stuff, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, and then especially when you go to I think it was like Redondo Beach or something, but off in the distance you see the some sort of like power plant or facility or something. It's like uh, so <laughs> you can kind of imagine like you know. Um, like, don't be surprised if they're like if their runoff is like actually hitting the water. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, it's cold. yeah. What I was saying was, um, don't be surprised if that facility is having their runoff kind of hitting the the beach waters. So yeah, that's probably likely why stuff like that makes those beaches pretty dirty. There are clean ones, of yeah. course, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say there are clean ones, and then there's like um, not like lakes that are actually clean, but you, it's like what a three hour trip to get to like the cleanest lake to uh-huh. even swim. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know that's just kind of how it is, man. Uh. Same with like like Los Angeles. I mean, I don't know if people see Los Angeles as like a quote unquote beautiful city but there's a there's there's plenty there's plenty no 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 no, no, no. wait wait wait. it was a beautiful city when we were in lockdown (laughs) yes (laughs) because my friend when she was visiting her relatives um during the lockdown oh okay she said she was able to see the sky clearly and the skyscrapers and all of that. She was mm-hmm. like, I was able to see it. Oh yeah, the air was super I, clear. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, I. She was like, I. I did not know that there was a sky there. I was just, <laughs> I was just used to seeing shit in the air. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, okay. What about now? No, looks ugly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Usually, you can't really see the city in the distance because it's so like. Just murky like or covered in, covered. in, in um, smog and smog stuff. and just whatever pollutant, right? Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. But there are days though when it, um after right after it rains, you can definitely see the mountains, the city, like the landscape, beautiful, right? Yeah, Most, and then yeah, it's like the rain is here. Okay, mark your calendars. Why we're not gonna see it for another fucking year? Or yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? One. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although strange, it has been raining more and more though. But you know, I don't know. I didn't send my Pokemon to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, that would be fucked up. Like if Pokemon were real I and mean, you had your know, one Pokemon, like it's too hot, rain dance. Mm-hmm. The weather, you know, forecast will be just fucked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today is sunny. It's raining, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's because Timmy down the street used rain dance with his fucking blast toys. Yeah. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Today is the first day of winter blowout. The sun is high and there's no snow. Yeah, because fucking Alfred down there uses Groudon and fucking sunny day up here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Drought. <laughs> Man. And Imagine. I guess one more. I guess one more. Look at that hurricane. Let me guess. Lugia? Lugia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, well, this one is a little more on the sad side, um, unfortunately. Former CEO, uh, Susan, um, forgive me for butchering the name. I can't, I can't, I, I can't even, um, pronounce that. But she, she was, um, 
at one point very um known depending on who you are right or you know within youtube if you're like a content creator that's like high up there yeah you'll you'll know her name right um but she passed away with cancer at the age of 56 very unfortunate um you know people have their words about susan but it is kind of like um safe to assume that she helped shape youtube in a way right yep um during her time but um you know she's she's ceo so like you know she just is responsible for looking over the the leadership of whatever fucking department division whatever within youtube but yep. nonetheless she's that face right um It's just like, I don't know, it's just one of those things that is unfortunate. It's like that name attached to the thing you like. And then when it passed away, it's like, oh man, fuck. Right. With, especially with cancer. Maybe, maybe, and, and you know, maybe one can assume, um, that's why she stepped down. Right. Maybe she had some cancer, but no, I think, I think she, she had cancer for two years and then unfortunately she, um, couldn't fight it or something like that. I'm not sure what, exactly where what the cancer was, but yeah, you know. Uh, so deep condolences for her family and friends. So, uh, any words for um the former CEO? Pretty much thank you for being part of the YouTube community when it was it's YouTube not taken over by those others. So she did have a presence to yes. pretty much like help help out or you know make a name for you know some people and and also try and push YouTube to like a good direction until stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely helped shape YouTube um, during the Prime days, in a way. So yeah, you can definitely assume that for sure, because that's yeah, it was during her leadership that it was kind of like running on all fire, or firing on all cylinders, right? In a way. And then unfortunately, the the first apocalypse happened, and then just went. It just kind of like went all over the place ever since, you know? Yeah. I forget when she exactly stepped down. Um, let me see. Oh, wow. So she actually ran till 23. So yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, so maybe be, maybe the it is because of cancer she, she had to step down. So I mean, this is all she say, but I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm I can only assume because of that. Yeah, she was CEO from 2014 to yeah 23. So she definitely was part of the, uh, or she was there for, for, uh, during the adpocalypse, the first one at least anyway. So, but thank you for your hard work. That's really all, all we can say. And may you uh, rest in peace. You know, she, her name is attached to, um, oh, that's unfortunate. So it was lung cancer, some form of lung cancer she had for two years. And yeah, yeah, you hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. Yeah, and that's the misconception with like lung cancer people um thing to get lung cancer you know you smoke a lot and stuff it's like no yeah you yeah just get it by genetics genetics uh, there's there's definitely other causes uh, it's not just smoking it's just just other things yeah
So, yeah. Sad to see. It's definitely sad to see. Because, you know, her name is her name is sort of attached to YouTube in a way. You know. So, alrighty. Let's get uh, to the next thing here. Um, all right, so D23 happened, or is happening, it and is happening. so, okay, so, uh, what are, uh, from what, what you've seen, or... yeah, what was shown, yeah, from what you've seen. Okay, so from what I've seen and from what my friend who somehow got in, because she, she's up right now in at the event, but... Yes. <laughs> Let's just say she took a tumble and now she's in a wheelchair. Oh, oh my! She twisted her. She twisted her ankle, and I'm like, oh. "How the fuck?" It's like you, you either ran too fast or you missed your step. <laughs> Damn. So That's... she's like, like her her post was like, "How's your D three? You know, D twenty three day going? I don't know. I fucking fell. I twisted my ankle. I'm in a wheelchair, and I have a bruise on my head. How do you think I'm fucking feeling right now? Oh my right god! <laughs> and then someone put like in the comments, "Happiest place on earth." Da, 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 da. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, "Don't be an asshole." <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hope your friend uh, recovers, man. Time. I hope your friend recovers. <laughs> no, she's gonna recover and she's gonna find that other friend to kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, from what I've seen so far, as, as what we're seeing on screen, for those that are listening, um, Avatar 3, mm -hmm. the, the blue people. Yeah, the, yeah it's blue the blue ideas. people, yes. Um, their new, their third movie is called Fire and Ash. Okay. And no, it's not Ash Ketchum. The, the damn. one would not turn to Ash. Damn, I, I was really hoping damn, it was Ash Ketchum. I know, damn it, James Cameron, you could have, you could have combined both worlds. We're on a cusp of greatness. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like something's gonna happen to Pandora. It looks like it's gonna, hmm, you know, erupt or something. Probably burn down to ashes. I don't know, man. I'm just judging from the title. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But well, Disney Studios, they sh showed some projects like Monster Jam. I don't know what the fuck is it. That is. I s yeah. I saw the little logo for it or whatever. They like teased it with the logo. But whatever. Uh, Mufasa. Yeah. I don't know what direction they're going with this fucking thing. It's supposed to be a origin story for like a prequel. Yeah, like a prequel you... for Mufasa, yeah. So yeah. yeah. But if you go by Lion King lore, yes, there is lore because of the um fuck what was that Disney show? The Lion Guard. They kind of went into like oh. the family tree and stuff. It's a really good show, Lion Guard. Like I thought I was gonna fucking hate it because uh -huh. you know, they that shit is like actually no they whoever the writers are for that show they actually took the time to really tie in the events of lion guard of between um lion king one and two i see but i don't know this this is just weird they made mufasa as an orphan pretty much it's the the fucking prince of egypt it's moses mm. Like how 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 did they find Mufasa? He was on a, a he was on a log in the river. Oh, okay. <laughs> like really fucking Moses, like mm -hmm. like stuff. Yeah. And I guess they learn um, from you know the first one of how people were saying like there's no facial expression now. Now there's more actual. Thing. There's a little more expression, yeah. Right there, that's Taka, uh huh, aka Scar. Oh, so we're gonna have an origin of why of how Scar is gonna get his scar, but um, yes, again, and if you watch the Lion Guard, um, they they will kind of they'll explain why Scar's name is Taka, and this also kind of like trashes. The whole like them being brothers, but mm -hmm. 
it also puts in a perspective like when you look at Mufasa in you know the animated movie at Scar, you wouldn't think they are they are brothers like blood brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? but not because you. Know, sorry, Scar had like a more brownish fur and black, you know, black mane. mane. Yes, black mane. Yeah, I thought well, that was always weird. Mufasa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Mufasa had like. Like the regular lion colors. Yes. Like golden. Tip, you're golden. Yes. All right. But I don't know. Like this whole thing with Mufasa and Scar. I'm like, oh look, everyone, it's Kimba the White Lion. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh at my ass about that. Yeah, like, yeah, no. Lion King stole it from Kimbo, and I was like, no, Lion King stole it from um, Hamlet. Yeah. It's just a coincidence that Kimba, the White Lion, came before the Lion King. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's funny. Dead. <laughs> dead. Oh, Jesus. Dead. Yeah. So that's still Mufasa, yes, on the on the right or whatever. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. So, so Mufasa is the golden, the golden child. Right. So you're telling me that know. also Puma, P- Timon, and Puma were also like there. There. Yeah. Like they. So they knew like Mufasa from back in the day as a yeah as a kid it's like jesus christ you two are old then yeah they must be really old like what the fuck that's but okay oh throughout the whole trailer i don't know it's because of my gay ass i was like wow they're really painting that these guys are going fuck okay <laughs> these, these are boyfriends already <laughs> <laughs> but i i don't know so what i'm thinking is that timon and pumba and in the beginning, it showed like baby Simba, or maybe that's not Simba. Maybe that's Kiara. Mm. I didn't watch the first the first live action okay. remake movie. Yeah. So maybe it's just Rafiki, you know, just telling the story and uh, mm. every now and then, you know, like how when you do like some stories, like the whoever's the listener will break away from the story to go like, "Wow, this is so boring," or you know, like yeah, let's, yeah, yeah, let's do something. Like they do their own commentary, mm-hmm. just like do a fast switch. Mm-hmm. But see again, like they have facial expression, so they they learn. They're they learn, learn, yeah, like, yeah. I just still think it's um a little weird that they went with the more realistic art direction over just like doing a a cartoonish style. Like if you're going to do CGI, I don't know. Well, to me, to me again, it's more like from the first time they did the Lion King um, live action. It's like, who asked for this? Yeah, yeah, who, who, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That is true. That that is a point. Yes, you know, and it's just retelling the story. Like, okay, like who asked? For, yeah, like you said, like who asked for that? But when it comes to this, it's like, okay, now it's a little more interesting. We get to dive into Mufasa, the Lion King, blah, blah, blah. But if you saw the casting Mm -hmm. from at the end of this trailer, whose name is missing? Oh, is it uh, not? uh, Is what's his name? Uh, James Earl Jones not there? Yep, he is not there. Damn. Like, I know this is, like, a younger Mufasa, but, you know, at the end of this fucking movie, he's probably going to be old, you know, old. So it's like, yeah. bring in a James Earl Jones to say, like, maybe fucking, like, an iconic, you know, like, Simba or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Coming December 20th, I guess. Of this year. I yeah, yeah this, of this year. Oh man, Snow White. I kind of saw this one okay, a little the, bit. Yeah. The Snow White, I I was a little skeptic, but just watching it, I'm like, you know, fucking it, it. It has the Disney Disney magic, so it's pretty. It, faithful. it reminds me of Maleficent. Yeah. 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 Pretty. It's like, it yeah. reminds me of Maleficent when they try to do it. Yeah. But it's as you say, it's more faithful to yes. what we already know. 
of how Snow White plays out. Yeah. So we just got to see, you know, what's the change and how... Oh, yeah, and then this is Gal Gadot, right. That's as the um, the the evil queen. The evil queen, yes. Everyone's trying to make fun of her, of, you know, of doing the Wonder Woman shit of 1984. But again, that movie was horrible at the start. Oh, God, yeah. That that movie had so much wrong. (laughs) Besides, besides, um, Godot's performance in that movie, but please, you have to give me the stone. It's like, wow, <laughs> do the line reading there, gal. Hold on, let me see. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? Okay, not not no, bad. Not bad. Not bad. Could they, have, could they have been someone else? Yes, but not bad. Yeah, so a lot of people really wanted um, the the actress that played Regina, aka the evil witch, mm. I mean, the, the evil queen from mm. Once Upon a Time TV series. Oh. But to me, I'm like, I think she's she's done. Oh. With, you know, with, with Disney. Okay. Understandably so. Well, again, it, it's to me, it looks the most faithful because of the costume uh, design. Costume design. It's not... Yeah. The casting oh, and then... in a way. Yeah. What? Well, seeing, seeing this, the deer. Oh. I was like, look, it's Bambi's mom. Look to the left. <laughs> there, is that a hunter? <laughs> Goodbye, Bambi. Mm-hmm. You see her like a gunshot. <laughs> That'd be fucked up, but yeah. Yeah, she was the reason why Bambi's mom died. Yeah. <laughs> what if the witch had the gun? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> it's like, what, what if Snow is like, yeah, I don't want that for her. Fine. <laughs> I have to pull out my last resort. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. Just to pull out like a like a flintlock pistol, like a you know, from the pirates pirates of the Caribbean or something. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> She's like, he should be like, right. Yep. <laughs> yep. There's the apple, of course. Of course. I mean, and then some people are like blaming Peter Dinklage of, you know, the uh, the dwarfs and stuff. Mm. When you really saying like, oh, Peter Dinklage uh, ruined it for all um, dwarf um, actors. It's like, you, you know that as a whole, the dwarves are played as a joke in this story because of their names and shit. Mm-hmm. So you over, so you're kind of pushing more um, stereotype and shit onto actual people with dwarfism. Yeah. So going CGI on the dwarves is a little bit better. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Because again, it's a fairy tale. Everyone. Yes. So it's- to be fucking real. Mm-hmm. Like, tell me, tell me in real life, you've seen a magic mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really depends on who you talk to. <laughs> without substance, sir. Without yeah, substance. Without... <laughs> I wonder why they I did that. It. I wonder why they did that well, sort of remember, sh- Cuz I uh, remember this was the part in the in the movie where she's like running through the forest. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, the scary scary images and yeah. all that shit. It's funny because it, we just uh, we just watched the Lion King trailer and <laughs> it was like Scar or something like hello bitch. <laughs> no, it's um the big bad wolf. <laughs> big bad wolf, yeah. <laughs> it's like Hello, little red. Oh shit, you're not <laughs> Snow White. <laughs> what is your name? Snow. Okay, your last name White. Very on the nose, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
All right, well, I mean, it's a live action Snow White again. Who asked for this? But I don't know. At least it's done, at least so far, a little more tastefully, I guess. I Cast, think also yeah. like right there. Should I go down? Oh. Down. No, down. Right there. Based on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by Ted Sears and Snow White by the Brothers Grimm. So <laughs> like, how far are you going to pull from the Brothers Grimm? Because they those stories ain't fucking pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for one, um, the Brothers Grimm's version of um, Snow White, I believe... Yeah, it was Snow... Was it Snow White or was it Cinderella? No, it was Snow White that she made the queen wear iron cast boots and they were heated, So, and but she had to keep dancing. Oh, fuck. So she... Yeah, so I was like, there's that. Uh, Rapunzel was another fucked up one. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the hero found found the tower, you know, climbed the blah blah yeah. blah. Yeah. I think, if I remember correctly, missed his step, or you know, lost his grip, and fell fell from the tower into the thorn bush bushes below, and his eyes got like stabbed out. Oh God. And 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 for the rest of his mortal being, wander his way out. Oh, yeah. Um, what what was uh, Hansel and mute. Gretel? They actually they actually died. Yes, they got eaten right <laughs> by the witch or whatever, and uh, then yeah, Sleeping Beauty was. <clears throat> The R word while she was sleeping. Ah. She woke up with two with two kids. Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Cinderella. No, Cinderella oh, yeah. was the no. Oh. Is this no? Is that the one with Cinderella... the iron boots? It's either Cinderella was with the iron boots or Cinderella was the one that's made the crows pick out um her stepmother and step um, sister's eyes out jesus and that the stepsisters um literally one cut off their their baby toe to try and fit into the shoe the other one actually cut off their heel to fit into the shoe god damn man shit so yeah everyone the brothers grim you want to you want to fucking read some fucked up versions of these uh disney uh Disney, Disney, uh, movies. Yeah, read Brothers Grimm. Mm -hmm. To which again, um, if you read the original uh, Hans Anderson, I think it's Hans for Little Mermaid. There's no happy ending for that shit. Yeah. Fucking trying to. I mean, I read that when I was like fucking fourth grade. I was fucking like, this is not the Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Okay, knowing that the mermaid dies at the end by turning into sea bubbles, and she's now the protector of um kids for all eternity. And that when she got her legs, literally said she felt like she's walking on glass, and her feet or legs were, were bleeding profusely. I'm like. Oh God, Jesus, man! It's like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, what am I reading? <laughs> am I reading The Little Mermaid or some fucking horror? <laughs> and remember, kid, remember everyone. This was like back in the nineties. We were able to read these at school with yeah. no problem, mm -hmm. no parents yelling. Yep. We yeah, were, we were also able to read fucking To Kill a Mockingbird. So mm -hmm. we turned out fine. Lord of the Flies. <laughs> All right, Lord of the Flies. Sorry, tangent. It was sixth grade. It was either we read Lord of the Flies or um, uh, Fahrenheit forty one. I think it was called Fahrenheit forty. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Some interesting stuff, to say the least. So, Tron. Okay, there's Tron Ares. Ares, whatever. Um. Oh, yeah, so with the Tron stuff, it looks like it's going to continue where Tron Legacy um, left off. Mm, okay. Again, this is a movie like I didn't ask for this, but okay. But sad. Not sad to say, but I'll give him a chance. Nine Inch Nails is going to do the album. <laughs> I know. Like, it's hard. I'm sorry. Daft Punk pretty much made that damn movie. It was pretty much their their second music video, album music video. You you can't prove me otherwise that Disney was like, hey, you guys want to do a music video? Yeah, sure. Can you add Tron in it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Jared Leto, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. A lot of these names I don't recognize other than Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Maybe oh, Jeff Bridges has, yeah. come, has to come back. Cause he yeah, was, he was in the first um, one, the yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's the creator. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's a Lilo Stitch live action thing, which... Okay, yeah, so the Lilo Stitch, um, a lot of people are bitching and moaning that Stitch looks horrible. I was like, he looks okay. He looks okay. Um, it kind of just again, feels. Just, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's unfinished because again, this is a this is a teaser. Yeah, it's not a final product. Right. There's always possibility of you know we, we of a rework or or more updating, right? And this is coming out we next year. Him. Yeah, this is coming out next yeah. year, uh, summer. Yeah, but someone I cannot find the stuff. But a lot of people, someone said that. Wow, ugly Sonic looks better than him. I was like, okay. No, they're just yeah. You use a dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> you like, I'm not, I'm nice you. Use a dumbass. That person does not know what they're talking about, or just looking for something to be. It's like at this at this point, you're just doing this for clout. Exactly. Yeah. Just. just shh. <laughs> The adults are talking. Right. Um. Well, Freakier Fridays. Oh yeah. Out, so that's part. That's the sequel to the, um, Jamie Lee Curtis and Lizzie Lohan um, mm -hmm. movie. Movie, yes. Yep. Which was a remake of an of the of the not original. Yeah, like this this is an older. Yeah, the yeah. There's an older version of that. Of course, Disney, known, re renowned for redoing these stories, right? You know, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, this this one. Oh yeah, Captain America: Brave New World. There's more footage of that, right? Somewhere, right? Um, yeah, yeah. You kind of get to see a uh, Red Hulk's face on the. Their their big screen. Um, yeah, and then this this one first steps for Fantastic Four. Yeah. Oh, it show, it um, even has a four three aspect ratio. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Wow. Which a lot of people are gonna have to get used to it because we're so um, privileged to have you know, the bigger the sixteen nine you know, ratio. Yeah. Yeah. You no. Know? Galactus's face. Again, okay. Yeah. Which again, everyone, this Fantastic Four is not modern. They are yes. in the past. They're in the 60s. Mm -hmm. That's why some of the um the looks of the suits are, you know, of that time period. Mm -hmm. Man, there's a push for fucking this movie, man. <laughs> Young woman in the sea. With uh, Daisy Ridley. I mean, fabulous actress Daisy. Yes. That she was giving such a... The whole cast of the um, 
the uh, sequel trilogy gave got the short end of the stick. Only yeah. some were able to fucking bounce. Yeah. I'm I'm glad Daisy is getting that bounce finally. Uh huh. What the hell? Uh, oh, it's just a music video. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, are they making a movie about the Beatles? <laughs> again? Again? <laughs> uh, they showed uh, more stuff for the MCU. Which? Well, there's the Agatha the stuff. Yeah. Which so I guess everyone, so. Put, put put on your ten fire hats of when this takes place. So mm -hmm. I say this takes place a little bit after Doctor Strange two. Uh huh. Yeah. And I'm gonna call it at the end of this. She's gonna have her powers back, but that's when I guess like um, Doomsday. Mm. Avengers Doomsday, you know, kicks off. Kicks off with okay. Because, well, I don't know how time is gonna work when they're on the the witch's road. Hmm. So what the witches wrote is just just pretty much witches go there to either regain their powers or you know become more powerful. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how long you know what how what how time works in in this realm. Mm -hmm. Like a day in there could be like five years yeah. outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hyperbolic time chamber kind of stuff. Halloween season. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean this Halloween. So, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> if that's actually the Wicked Witch, I, I would laugh. But, all right. It is a streaming series, Disney Plus, with nine episodes. See, that's what I, I think, like, like not that safe bet. Yeah. A 10 would work, you know. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, oh, it's an eight series or a seven. It's like, no, you kind of need that extra mm -hmm. one or two. Yeah. Come on, the boys is still going to be an eight episode finale, so it's unfortunate. But I mean, we'll see. But uh, Agatha, see, now that I watched um, Deadpool Wolverine, it does make me more a little more curious about what happened with all the other MCU films I uh, skipped on, or at least like put to the side. Um. So I'll probably give this a shot eventually, but I'll I'm not immediately going to make my way to like the watch only this. show at the moment. Like your homework, if you wanted to just jump into the MCU, just watch Loki. Okay. Yeah, I haven't watched Loki. What what season two? Right or yeah? yeah. Well, just watch Loki. Um, if you didn't watch um, WandaVision, it's a good show. Right. Um, but I, I mean, I, I watched one division. I, I watched the uh, Loki season one. No, I, no. What? What? what uh, no, because uh, I watched. I I saw the ending with uh, Kang. Right. What's when he debuted? That's where I left off. There's no like season three or anything, is there? No, Lo okay. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, well, I watched one division. I watched the Hawkeye shit. That, that was like when it first came out. Um, Hawkeye was good only because it brought back um Kingpin. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, um, you could skip um Echo. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, unless you're a big um Daredevil fan, Daredevil fan slash okay. uh, if you like you know Native American culture, yeah, mm, you can watch it. Right. Yeah, I stopped since what was it? Is either She Hulk or Miss Marvel? So, so, uh, so anything Ms. after Marvel that? Yeah, is, mm -hmm. yeah, Miss Marvel is good. 
Well, because they, I mean, yeah, they, they, well, that's where they first mentioned the mutants, and you know, that's yeah, right. And then She Hulk is, is there as a satire. If you're looking for it to be an actual, uh, you know, law firm um, show, it it wasn't it. They right. Wanted, it definitely was. Yeah. To, they wanted to just play on She Hulk's uh, quirkiness and the fourth wall breaking fourth stuff. Wall breaking. Right. Because at the time they couldn't do it with, they didn't have Deadpool with them. So. Mm hmm. Yeah, so anything after that, I didn't watch. So, uh, I don't know if there were any, like, other streaming MCU shows that I should watch or whatever. I just... mean, there is the What If series. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. But that's just, like, if this is the MCU, the What If is, like, right over here. Okay. Okay. Ironheart. Uh, it takes place like really right after the events of Wakanda Forever. So. Okay, I haven't watched that yet, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a so, series. Yeah, it's a series. Okay. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a movie. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Then Daredevil: Born Again. That this is the MCU Daredevil, yes, or is this the is it still riding off of the Netflix one? So it's the Netflix. It's the Netflix series up to um, season two, then mm. it becomes MCU. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Skeleton crew for Star Wars. Let's see. Let, let's uh. Is, is it gonna be like Endor? Stuck with a hill. Right. Wait. Oh yeah. It's okay. So it's also a streaming series. Okay. Interesting. I'm just looking at it. There's no no, no sound. For those who are wondering, but. I heard very mixed things about um, Acolyte. Okay, Acolyte, some people say it breaks canon lore. It does not. Hmm. It really does not break canon lore. That's already been said. So it's pretty much the people that, because I watched it, I enjoyed it because it actually showed like more emphasis of how red kyber crystals are made. Which was already established in previous canon and non-canon material, and in also the um, Star Wars um, out outcasts out the PS5 game. Mm -hmm. Outlaw. It, yeah, outlaw. Okay. Outlaw? Right, you said PS5, it's right? So yeah, is this the one with the chick, the girl? No, not the chick. Oh, okay, okay. No. Oh, you mean uh, what to do? Um, fallen. No, that's fuck. Um, it's the dark. It's, it's, it's kind of like the souls like, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's fallen order. Fallen yeah. order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, uh, yeah, I was getting there. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, so people are between uh, was you know saying that oh. It breaks canon lore. It does not. Um, it really emphasizes that the, the Jedi's were too blinded by their um, pride of like mm. we're the only Force wielders in the entire galaxy. None, no whatsoever, you know, ever rise to power. And things happen, and you kind of it really shows that yeah, Jedi's are assholes during this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not really good people. They're assholes. Right, 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 right. Interesting. So it's kind of give it to give it a watch. Um, if you, in, it's kind of like it. It also kind of helps if you have some Star Wars knowledge of um, asks um, canon, you know, canon um, lore and stuff. Yeah, but it, it kind of helps it. It kind of explains, but not like a true explanation. 
it's more like here's here's the crumbs or pieces. Try make the puzzle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Oh, there's Andor season two. And, uh, yeah. Andor, fucking thank God. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I watched this one. I actually enjoyed or Andor for season. I enjoyed for what it was. I liked um, Luna's performance and all that stuff. Mandalorian and Grogu. This is a movie, yes? Yep. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much their Star Wars event. Um, Star Wars' answer of being a um, Avengers-like because mm. we are supposed to get like um, what? What you might call like every character so far from that was appearing that appeared in the Mandalorian to the Book of Boba Fett mm -hmm. and and um Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Incredibles three, of course. Who fucking asked for this? <laughs> yeah. I did I did not what? enjoy two as much as I did with the first one. There were some cool sequences in the second one, but overall it was so like sort of by the numbers and pretty predictable. It was um, two by the numbers. Mm -hmm. The the shock factor of oh it's not a guy villain, it's a girl. It's like, right. K N. Mm hmm Right. So Oh, and, and that Incredibles 2 was pretty much um, a reversal, a role reversal. A reversal, and also, like, um, I forget the wife's name, but she, her kind of being a hypocrite. Oh, Helen? Yeah. Remember, yeah, Helen. Because remember in the first movie, she was so against, like, um, Bob doing hero yeah. shit. And because of all the. Um, Things that might go wrong, or the endorsements that they will get, and here, here she fucking goes. Mm hmm. Yep. Secret hero work, right? <laughs> well, not really secret because um, it was more like a paid, you know, paid advertisement, or paid like superhero. Work. I guess, yeah, that's true. But, yeah, so. but still kind of like went behind his back, kind of thing, sort of. Yeah. yeah. And let, let him be a stay-at-home dad yeah but, you know him being stay-at-home dad was like the most funniest part in the movie actually yeah it kind of was honestly dad can you help me with math okay so you're gonna do it no no they don't want you to do it that yeah. way they wanted to do it this way why do they even want you to do that math yeah. is math like, <laughs> I thank you <laughs> yeah oh and then him um finding uh figuring our being um introduced to Jack Jack's powers. Yes. Yeah. The eye beam was so cute. Right? Eye laser. Pew. <laughs> Pew. I was like, you know, that's actually every dad. Mm -hmm. If their kid could do eye lasers, like, okay. mm -hmm. very good kid. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. So, Dream Productions. I'm not sure what this is. Inside Out spin off oh, series. Uh... Yeah, it's a uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, okay, oh. this is behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Win or lose? This I saw the logo uh -huh. for it. What's what's this all about? I have no idea. Okay, so it's like a baseball or um yeah, like a junior baseball league thing. First ever original series. From Pixar, okay. Do they have powers? <laughs> I think it's like in their imagination. It's like the. It's uh -huh, like... So they're they're taking ecstasy. Got it. Next. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those like oh my god what what's that show god damn it it's like oh. use your words it's like uh I guess Rugrats in a way. Like, you know, it's just, it's like, it's like, um, those shows where most of it is like happening and just in their head. 
right? But it's, mm. of course, like taking slice of life stuff, you know, they're like learning the basic shit like romance and oh, you know, um, you know, you talk it out with your whoever, right? Like your parents or your, you know, your who I mean that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to focus on sorry, someone just DM me um I guess season four of um Fortnite. Mm. I'm gonna have to focus on this uh, on this uh, upcoming season. It's a Marvel season. Oh, okay. It has Doctor Doom, Emma Frost, and Mysterio in the battle pass. Oh wow. Oh damn, Mysterio too? Damn. Okay. Oh, it's a series. It's like... Okay. Oh shit. They have Black Panther. Oh wow. Alright, you know, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is it all, is that all in the battle pass? Or Yep. Okay. Wow. Marvel, everybody. Oh, shit. War Machine? Okay. It's supposed to be a long-form series focusing on eight what different characters. What the hell does long-form mean? Right? It's just it's eight. Like, what the fuck? That's not long-form. Or at least, unless they're going to have multiple seasons. Is that, what, is that what they mean? Eight different characters as they prepare for a championship softball game. Each episode focuses on a different character's perspective and incredibly emotive animation style will use oh, each okay now i get it so it's like it's gonna each episode is gonna focus on one character but at the i'm gonna say at the end of the the last episode it's gonna kind of like show that what we were watching like prior was happening at the same time yeah okay so like okay so like um it looks like yeah they're, they're they're playing that softball game or whatever and then like as we focus on each character they have their own little backstory kind of thing whatever the fuck's going backstory on yeah or how they found their uh what's it called not motivation but their uh their quirk their quirk yeah we we find that we find out what their quirk is essentially what their shtick is so eh, all right Poppers, what the hell is this? Original Angry Beavers. Yeah. <laughs> a Disney Pixar original film, Hoppers, is currently in development. The main character for the film is a girl named Ma uh, Mabel who transfers her mind into a robot beaver, okay, which allows her to infiltrate the animal kingdom in the film. It's there that she meets a regal king beaver. Mabel's love for animals is what allows her to to jump into the robot's or robot beaver's body without hesitation. Okay, another character in Hoppers is a is the crooked mayor of the town, voiced by John Hamm. Okay, okay, okay. From before you say that there's a villain in this. This sounded like the wild thornberries, but with extra fucking steps. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's what it is. It's wild thornberries. I remember. Wow, man, shit. That's. I'm sorry. Did I just see a gray hair? I know. <laughs> beep, beep. Right. Uh, Elio or Elio. Elio's uh, film trouble had a trouble start at Pixar two years back. Has a found a new life. New directors boarded the project. Elio, who has mistaken an ambassador for Earth or who is mistaken as an ambassador for Earth. In, a situa in this situation, he must learn to form new connections with new uh, alien life forms. It's more Zoe Sa uh, Saldana. Has been announced uh, as playing Elio's aunt, a role that was originally played by America Fer uh, Ferreira before the role had to be recast due to scheduling issues. Oh, okay. And just okay, that's also interesting, I guess. 25 or 2025 for summer, right? Uh, oh, yeah, 26 for the uh, beaver film. 
by the way. Poppers, yeah. Um, win or lose is also, or uh, no, it's December 2024, excuse me. By the way. Oh my fucking god, when I saw this, I was so fucking just like, why? This is also another movie. Who asked for this? Toy Story 5. I would say even 4. Like, who, who the fuck idea, who, who the hell had the idea of continuing Toy Story? Because yeah. 3 when ended three up so... Ended, yeah. It was, was done. It was done. We didn't need to know what happened to the toys. Yeah. And, and a second, like, fucking elephant in the room? Why is Woody back? Right. That's what everyone's if you, asking. If you followed 4... He didn't want to deal with anything with. He, yeah, with he didn't want to be a toy anymore. He wanted to be free, I guess. Yeah, with, he wanted uh, to Bo, stay Bo, with Bo Peep. Yeah, Bo Peep. Unless she died. I don't know. Know. Like, <laughs> like, did she get stepped on? Did she break? <laughs> did he run away from the fucking circus? What? Right. What is his excuse now? Mm hmm. And then now the the one of the ba big like main points is the army of fifty Buzz Lightyear toys stuck in malfunctioning play mode. I guess. Right. Forky is still there. The fork thing. Well, yeah. Well, oh, and buzz, I, buzz better. Those malfunctioning buzz better be all speaking Spanish because that was yeah, the most funny yeah. part of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or In different three. languages at that too. <laughs> Japanese, Germans, or Spanish, like different, uh, like. Portuguese or something, or like, um, or even like, um, Mongolian oh, or Tibet. Now, yeah. Now that you said it in different language, I kind of now want to hear. Um, who was it? Um, who voiced Buzz? Was it? Tom oh, Hanks? Tim Allen. Yeah, Tim Allen. Yeah. I want to hear Tim Allen speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I, well uh, yeah, at least um, Tim Allen's back to voice Buzz. That's what it seems like, right? I'm assuming Tom Hanks, of course. You can't, you know, can't have Woody without Tom Hanks. Um, there was like that weird thing going on with Tim Allen, quote unquote. I guess he has some sort. Of, it, it, it involved with some like political opinion, whatever. Like, yeah, um, it was the political opinion, and then when it came to like Kingdom Hearts three, it was. Um... I forget whose brother it was that voiced the character instead. Oh, Tom Hanks' brother or something? Or well, yeah. he well then Tom Hanks' brother voiced Woody or something in other stuff. Yeah. yeah. In other stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then yeah, and then there was that thing with like um, when there was that Buzz Lightyear film that came out, or just, what, I think it was just just called Lightyear, right, or something with yeah. uh, Chris Evans. Um, they thought, yeah, they thought, oh, they replaced him with uh, Chris Evans, but no, I guess not. Yeah, so. Alright. At least they got that right, but why why all this? Like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, this, I get, like, this should, this, this should have been Toy Story 4, I think. I don't know. If they're gonna do, if they're gonna really continue it, right, this should have been Toy Story 4. Maybe what they're trying to do is just try to make people forget 4 ever happened. I I think maybe. Because why would Woody be there otherwise, right? It, it makes no fucking sense. Yeah, so it, yeah, because it says uh, compete toys, the toys are competing with technology for the affection and attention of the kids who used to play with them. Right now, it's like now they're playing with, playing with the uh, the whole like oh the iPhones and the iPads yeah the, the iPads and stuff technology taking over yes now they're incorporating that storyline so uh, on the top of the fact yeah on top of that they're de dealing with the uh, the army of malfunctioning Buzz Lightyear so see this could have been like I've been saying like this this could have been four right. That whole, I think four of itself did not need to happen. The whole, like, um, I mean, it was nice to see Bo Peep, of course, right? Right? I'm not gonna, don't get me wrong on that, but yeah, the story around, it was nice or, to see, uh, yeah, Bo Peep. Mm -hmm. And there was also a fucking, like, a thrill to hear, um, 
What was, who was it? Keanu Reeves. Yeah, Keanu Reeves as a Duke. Uh, do kaboom i think it was yeah the stuntman and like yeah like th there were some moments right like yeah th like alone that's great but like the entire thing the entire point is that oh fucking uh yeah. what's what's her name um the kid um uh just stop paying attention to uh woody and and she gets fucking so um uh, uh, uh what do you call it? she starts paying attention to forky or whatever right and then, and it's then, like, yeah, it's like it was just a retelling of the first movie, mm -hmm. just done stupid. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah, exa exactly, yeah. It's just like it's nothing original or even fun about it. And then, oh, fucking Woody leaves, um, he because he wants to be free. Okay. And then, like, not to mention all the other toys hardly got uh, the screen time, yeah. right? Besides Buzz. You know, well, even Buzz, like, they didn't get that much attention. Or screen time, excuse me. And now, now they're, like, like yeah, yeah, doing like the... The Toy Story 4, it was pretty much a Woody movie. So they it, oh, didn't no. need Toy Story. They didn't need the Toy Story name. Yeah, it should have been called, like, The Avengers of Woody or some shit. Like, some, something, like, um, to that or, you know, degree. If, if you want to be an asshole. Bye-bye, Woody. Bye-bye, Woody. <laughs> 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 or see a cowboy or something. I don't know. Or one last ride. Or one something last ride. Like <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. One, one last ride. A, a Toy Story story. <laughs> yeah. A Woody. A Woody story. Or something. Yeah. Woody. T uh, t Tales of Woody or something. <laughs> something. Tales right. Tales from the Woody. <laughs> and you just see the Crypt Keeper like. <laughs> yeah. Hello, ghouls. We're mm -hmm. gonna talk about Woody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Mm -hmm. see that at least would be a little more interesting to some extent but they just called it they just straight called it toy story 4 like what the fuck now it's called toy story 5 jesus christ dude jesus christ who, di who directed uh toy story 4 by the way my man <laughs> Oh wow, okay, it's a different different person. Okay, so Alright. Who who directed and who who wrote it? Okay, so John Lester. Okay. Then yeah, it didn't say like it, the, the writers or anything like that, so Yeah. Again, who's I think they dad? Yeah. Who who's your daddy? Who what does he do? Um Again, I think this should have been this this entire story should have been four, in my opinion. Five, I mean, yeah. The actual story story four, erase it. Get get that shit out. Get that shit out of our our um, archives, you know. And then five should be four, or at least call it something else like Toy Story, um, malfunctioning Buzz Lightyear. Whatever you know, <laughs> or um, Toy Story, <laughs> Toy Story, Rise of the Machine, something like that. <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then parentheses. Why the fuck are we continuing <laughs> this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rise of the Machine. That's actually kind of yeah. You're onto something, right? Rise of the AI or something. I don't know, right? Or um, what's it called? <laughs> it was gonna be an ass though. Toy Story ADD is a problem. <laughs> Toy Story Twitter is not a real place. <laughs> or, no, think about it, right? If you think about it, Toy Story. Thanks, Apple. <laughs> or was it? The Toy Story. The 4chan chronicles. Oh my god. God. Like, what do you mean 4chan chronicles? You, you'll see. Yeah, I, I said thanks, Apple, because um, at one point, Pixar was owned by Steve Jobs, right? Or he was CEO of a Pixar, something like that, right? Uh, But anyway, we'll see about Toy Story with the trailer and everything. That's when I'll really open the 
fucking can because I, I i love toy story that's like my favorite like disney affiliated slash pixar film right you know or series excuse me because me also, i love toys but anyway like, yeah toy well the first toy story actually taught you acceptance and you know growing up and mm -hmm. and stuff yes that's what i saw mm -hmm. what my friend saw was segregation <laughs> and i was like you know what you're not wrong but shut the hell up <laughs> segregation my god i would never have thought you segregation know, and toy story in the same fucking thing <laughs> In the same you know, sentence. Like, you know, the, the, the new toys moving in and, you know, Woody wanted to just keep order and like, yeah, like separate and stuff. Mm -hmm, I'm like, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. you're not wrong, but shut the hell up. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Moana 2. Okay. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> did you did you like Moana? I, I have not watched Moana. Uh, okay. So. I had the privilege to listen to watch the movie in um not really um native hawaiian but you know polynesian you know language mm, okay to make it feel more authentic mm. I, as a movie because of you know me already growing up with like some of the um Myth mythos of the of Polynesia and such. Yeah, I had to re not rethink, but just go like, wait. It's like no, they're telling Maui's story wrong. It's like wait, no, 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 wait, wait, gotta remember. Even if I'm Hawaiian, Tongan, Samoan, and all that. We have different ways of telling the origin story, but we always end up in the same conclusion. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Okay. Never. But the one that again really kind of ticked me off was them making Maui a tr uh, trickster god. It's like I mean, he's not really a trickster. He was mm -hmm. more of a well, if you go by Hawaiian um, mythology. He was like the Hawaiian Superman, could do anything. Oh, wow. They probably did that because Loki was like pretty popular at the time or something. So, tricks are God, whatever, right? You know? Um, all right. Um, but that one, that upcoming movie. Yes. Utopia 2, okay. I, I enjoyed the first one. I enjoyed the first the one for furries sure. Furries will rise again. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at look at all the image the image boards. What do you see? <laughs> <laughs> so this one is going to be focusing on the reptiles. Ooh, all right. This is man. scalies rise up. <laughs> It is our time. <laughs> we will rule. Then, <laughs> <laughs> after ten thousand years, <laughs> after constant delays and, <laughs> and production limbo, we are free. <laughs> oh man! It's time to conquer the internet again. <laughs> yes. That, yes. That is true. <laughs> so there'd be a snake being Gary I, first off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I hope they did the same thing while making because Disney went for Zootopia for like um behind the scenes. They went above and beyond and they showed the first screening to furries to say like, is this, you know, appropriate? You know, mm -hmm. Do you like it? And I was like, holy shit, you actually got furries to watch this on you you didn't just go to like the everyday man or woman or child you went like actual like furries like hey you wanna can you tell us if this movie's all right is this appealing to you you know stuff yeah geez well, almost like that. it's almost like hey if you make the film for this core audience for, for the for the fans right or, not fans but for yeah 
for your actual target audience. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Um, That's not really stereotypical. Or mm -hmm. Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Beating, beating your head over, you know, over, over heel. It. Yeah. Um, showcases an entire hippo community along with beavers and sea lions. Uh, main characters for the, for the fil first film, Nick and uh, choose Judy. Judy? Oh yeah, that's a, that's, that must be a, yeah, that's a typo, right? I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, Judy. Yeah, to which um people mm -hmm. saw already like the the standees, you know, the card out or the stuff. Mm. There are some people a little pissed off, and I'm pissed off too. There's no rings on them. Damn. Ah. <laughs> uh. To which I was like. You at the end of the first movies, like you could tell, like yeah, maybe they were gonna go, they're gonna get together, mm -hmm. but at this point in time, it's like what? They're not married yet. Maybe it's only six. Yes. Maybe it's only six months. I don't know. I don't know. Right? We don't know the time skip. Right? Okay, uh, we've seen faster people going getting into you know marriage in rom com after one week of knowing each other. Sure, but hmm. We'll see. <laughs> um, sea lion, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. So it's just like a, just like, I guess there's just some sort of like teaser clip or something just to kind of showcase the characters. Frozen 3. Oh my God. Why? Bro. They one can't one leave these two slip sisters alone. The one second one ended. Not it, perfectly, but kind of, kind of established. One takes care of the kingdom. One is in her own kingdom where mm -hmm. she can be free and use her powers, you know, nilly willy. Yeah. And now you're showing a fucking castle in the sky. What is that, Valhalla? Right. <laughs> it's the Aurora thing, huh? Is it, someone gonna die? Is someone actually gonna go to fucking meet Thor? Right. Norse. Nor uh, Norse mythology much? I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, there's a lot of questions. Olaf is still alive. Yay. Oh, he's okay. Did, did he die in Frozen 2? Quote unquote. So in Frozen 2, yeah, he died. And then when, when um, she got her, got more powerful with her powers, um, she pretty much made Olaf like. Almost immortal. Oh, okay. Damn. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, there were a lot of questions coming out of Frozen Two. It will take two films to answer. Jesus fucking Christ! They're Is gonna it do two parter. It's a two parter. What the fuck? Ah, damn. Fourth Frozen film is inevitable. There will sure be even more world building in the th uh, third film. The concept are depicting Anna and Elsa riding on horseback towards what looks like to be a floating city of some sort. And that you is know, the have more fun than getting getting ridden by a horse <laughs> than watching this fucking film. Well, they need to get off their high horse and uh, you know end it right there. <laughs> you know. Yes, a lot, a, a good handful of these films people did not ask for. Like yeah, Incredibles three. Or, um, Toy Story Five, right? I mean, well, maybe, maybe I guess now that Four exists, or because Four exists, maybe Five is there to correct it. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I gotta see that wait, uh, trailer. Zootopia Two, I'll accept. I, I, um, I, it's like why not, right? It's yeah. on the second one, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, Frozen Three, ugh. I, I, for for Zootopia alone, even though we did have the short stories um series for That's right. um, Disney Plus, uh huh, I would have accept Zootopia just branching off to be a TV series. Yeah, it didn't need to be a movie, not really. Right, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just again like Disney. I hope you know what what's gonna come. <laughs> what's gonna come? <laughs> What After is this movie? Yeah, release. right. You're gonna have a lot of um, artists thanking you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 
Oh, Kim it's Beasley. the yeah, it's the the guy who played um, what's his name from Indiana Jones, right? When he was a kid. Buck Brown. Yes. Okay. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, Judy Hopps. Wait. Team up again. I hope they're just not. Fr come, come on, man. Are they really gonna play it off as friends? I don't fucking. I don't believe that shit. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a statue. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Maybe, th maybe he'll propose to her at the end of two. I don't know. Maybe they're saving it for the end of it. I don't, I, I, Fucking, I, I'm just hoping that one of them proposes to somebody. Again, Nick proposes to Chief Bogo for a while. No, Chief Bogo belongs to Clawhauser. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the tigers. <laughs> oh, fuck, yes. Give me, give me more of the tigers. Oh, my God. Of course. Of course. Oh, the sloth. <laughs> oh, Dash. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this this art style right here, this is definitely like like uh very close to like the classic Disney stuff. Yeah. Like you can see like the influence of like um what's it called? Jungle Book, Robin Hood. Yes. That stuff. I, I like Nick's face if you go back down. Yeah. He's like, Why did I allow you to drive? <laughs> Do you know how to drive? No. Yeah. Those are uh, Judy's parents, right? Yep. Parents yeah. And her brothers and sisters. Bro yes, a lot of them. <laughs> because, because <Yes. laughs> that that fucking dumbass joke in the first one. <laughs> I'm a rabbit. We're good at multiplying. It's like, Shh. yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Woo. Yeah. In a kids movie. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's, there's this guy right there. So, yep. I'll be surprised if they uh bring back the uh the true villain from the first one somehow. Like a Oh, the sheep. The sheep, yeah. I forget a name, but yeah. It's been it's been a long time. It's been almost ten years, so <laughs> Yeah. I did. I did enjoy the movie, though. I did. I did enjoy it when I first when I first, uh, watched it. All right. I, I guess that's most of it, if not all of it, for the. Yeah, that's on the Disney side, and on the Marvel side. Oh God! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So what was on uh, the Marvel right, side? If, yeah. Marvel side, besides Agatha, they showed more. Uh, another trailer for um, Captain America. Brave New World. Mm -hmm. They showed uh, a teaser trailer for Fantastic Four. First Steps, that's the, the subtitle. The first Steps. Yes. Um, what else? Who was it? I thought I put the thing. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, go, continue. Same thing, what else did they show? Um, so far, Nothing yet on um a doomsday. He does you know, so many recently he announced that um Robert Downey Jr. is a Doc Doom. Right. Uh, I think that's like the biggest for for it. Oh right, there was a teaser for for five, but it wasn't much. It was just like. The usual characters posing or some shit. Nothing really. Um, 
Yeah, Elio, this, that. Uh, yeah, Daredevil, Daredevil. Yep, yeah. Daredevil, Avatar, Freaky Friday, or Freakier Friday, excuse me. There's. Yeah, like with the Daredevil, yeah. It's going to be their second rated R. Yeah. That will show and stuff. Mm hmm. Um, Again, everyone, be. Not be prepared, but. Daredevil is not going to be a fucking children's. Show. Yeah. What the hell? Is that ludicrous? Oh my gosh. Luda! Luda, man. He was put <laughs> Luda in the Disney show? Jeez. When he was 15, he had his first love. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Christmas show. Wow. November 17th. Okay. Well, well, well. Ain't that something. All right. So that is it for that. I guess we can try to speed through the... Uh, the rest of these because um i mean it's not really about not much anyway yep. so marvel rivals mm -hmm. uh oh yeah let me let me hit the the sound for this where is it was it, it there we go there we go. <laughs> uh they actually this i'm not gonna read the whole thing but basically they had cheaters on the closed beta testing for marvel rivals and so they were able to ban at least 190 accounts as, as of this tweet. So imagine, which, imagine which again, cheating. Like, now. Right, yeah, right there. The first one cheating in a beta is crazy. Right. Jesus. Like, it's a beta. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I guess it's just too obsessed well, I, trying I'm... to feel powerful. But anyway, what? I am happy with Marvel Rivals actually putting their foot down. Like, hey, the hell are you doing? Like, whereas, you know, like with Overwatch and, and shit, they, they drag their fucking feet. Mm -hmm. Apex was not even that better. Like, you know, oh, hell no. cheating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking Epic was like pretty much doing this. Yeah. There's a cheater. What? <laughs> what? Well, Apex is because um, their player count is like low, low on the lower yeah. side, right? So you gotta keep those numbers. Well, when it was like on the high end, like when it was like everywhere, yeah. you couldn't escape it. it, it yeah, there was cheaters up the ass, and they still go what? Mm -hmm. Who? Oh, you know the boys are playing Apex again. Speaking of which, I, why? I, well, because um, I think uh. Well, I guess they wanted to try out the updates because, like, you know, like the whole like, oh, you get revived and stuff like that, type of mechanic. Um, yeah. I guess they wanted to try out those updates. I was super surprised that they that they did that though. I was not there, but they I saw that they had the uh, the clips or whatever, in the game game clips section. I was like, oh shit, wow, they're actually back on it. But uh, yep. Yeah, um, Marvel Rivals. They are getting I, a head I, I start. Can, I can hear Todd or James screaming, "Why?" Yeah, <laughs> just screaming that. Like, yeah. Are they okay? No, no, they are not. <laughs> mm hmm. At least Marvel Rivals is getting a head start on how to uh, deal with cheaters. <laughs> so one way to look at it. All right, Fortnite. This one was, Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Items in the future Fortnite battle passes may be offered for uh, purchase in the shop after eighteen or more months from the battle pass expiration. So, so again, maybe. So it's not all of the the you know skins, but yeah, it's a step to the right direction for people that missed out on mm -hmm. certain seasons. But again, sadly, it's not for past seasons. It's from future upcoming yeah. seasons. Mm -hmm. and they're off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all items guaranteed to come. Yeah. Uh, that's the answer is no. They're not guaranteed. So it's 
it is up in the air as to what comes to the shop, but at least it's something for sure. Uh, but again, know. it's mm -hmm. like if they really want money, which I don't think they they don't want money, right? Fucking put um do a um like a like not a box set but a bundle set mm -hmm. season chapter you know like chapter three season three to three to five pay twenty dollars and you get the base skins you know something like that uh -huh. yeah people are gonna fucking fly money yeah yeah people yeah player yeah i would say we play around with that idea for sure like the bundle stuff yeah for sure or like for those like like me, I missed out on Mandalorian and Darth Vader. Do like a limited, like a once, once a year thing, which they do with the Star Wars thing. Go like during only Star Wars time, you can purchase Mandalorian and and Vader, but it's just the base skin. No, you do not have the uh, the colors or. Yeah. The colors or the back, um, the backpack. Yeah. And stuff. You just get the character. Mm -hmm. You don't get all the fancy do do shits. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so there's a question of what about um, license IP content and battle passes. One reason for this change is that we want players down the road to enjoy battle pass content, such as outfits based on uh, popular licensed characters. While there is no guarantee that, that that a battle pass item will come to the shop after this change, IP content from the fu from future battle passes might come to the shop at least eighteen months after the battle pass expires. So there is that. Battle pass price still the same, which is good. Um, that's fine, of course. And. Uh, are all the uh, types of items of eligible? Yeah, that is yes. So, you know, we got the backpacks, uh, back blings, or uh, pickaxes, emotes, instruments, decals, blah, 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 you name it. So nice. Which again, it, it, it's, a, it's a step to the right direction, but yeah. they're, them going f using like future battle pass is a good idea because. There's too many past battle passes, and mm -hmm. if they go like monthly, you know, go one by one, like each chapter one by one, like chapter one, season one pass, <laughs> it, stays in, it stays for the entire month. Then you have to go chapter one, season, season two. two. <laughs> yeah. So by the time it reaches, I think it was like chapter three chapter four is when you got the mandalorian mm -hmm. so you, oh, how, how many fucking months is that right it's gonna be yeah i want I, it's really definitely how they're going to do that is really going to be pretty important so how they're what their execution is like so we'll have to just send weight um yeah one of the best changes you get over three hundred thousand V bucks worth for just uh nine fifty plus eighteen months earlier. Um, but isn't that like three hundred dollars? <laughs> but anyway, um, bring back old yeah, ones too. Yeah, because I think that's what everyone wants. It's just the old battle pass. You know, the new ones is it's is nice, but we want the old ones uh, technically. Um, not yeah. technically actually. Yeah. W for licensed IP skins like Marvel and DC to be a fan of a game slash movie and never be able to get the, get that skin again was unfortunate. Great change there. Uh, for original Fortnite skins like Black Knight and Omega, it'd be cool to have a unique edit if they came back with like Purple Skull Trooper. Okay. Um, I'll just i just throw the same two on. I guess I'm totally done with this um, segment of the future update oh what's up oh i just throw it into high cast hashtag high cast of the um doctor doom um so. oh discord uh where 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 where'd you put it discord oh discord sorry sorry, sorry. discord though <laughs> discord though <laughs> yeah oh okay gotcha gotcha hey, gotcha hey, hey, <laughs> 
So this is the upcoming season. Gotcha. So this season's about to um, end. Yes. There it is. Yep. It's Doom. Mm -hmm. It's Robert Downey Jr. Yep. Hey. Just a costume, but yeah. There's Emma Frost, Mysterio. Mysterio. Oh, I, I, <laughs> oh my god. They actually did that. Man. Ah, that's funny. Ah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Civil War. <laughs> no one beats Doom. Yep. Absolute Doom. Oh, that's cool. Black Panther. Wakanda for... Well, it's on Shuri. Oh, yeah, Shuri. Okay, yeah. True. Wakanda forever. Gwenpool with Iron Man stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're putting me... They're putting that... Marvel license to use. Oh my god. That war machine. War machine. I mean, remember, Disney is also investing in Fortnite for yeah. some damn reason. I am Doom. <laughs> so, yeah, probably want to do this season to just get Doom and Emma Frost um, Mysterio. i sorry, War Machine. I don't care about you. Hey. You don't shit on War Machine. I like War Machine, motherfucker. <laughs> Conventional weapons he for the win. By, he got zapped by fucking Vision and fell. <laughs> hey, man, come on. Come on. Whose fault was it? Roadies or or Visions or... um? Who was the one that was winning the way to it? Or, um... Fuck that. Or Sam. Whose fault was it, really? That made really fall. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Does not change change the fact that War Machine is cool. All right. <laughs> um. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, may, may, maybe maybe Cheetle but uh wasn't the right guy i don't know but anyway that's my opinion but anyway <laughs> so <laughs> um, I, still, I still want don cheeto just like have a small cameo in like in a, another uh wow thank you uh twitter anyways <laughs> small cameo in another marvel um show where he's dressed up as Captain Planet. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, oh man, if he if he did that for Deadpool, or at least that would have been funny. <laughs> Captain Planet, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it it, it kind of makes sense, right. right? Then he oh, can go. Hmm? Oh, I'm just like looking at um, Zenless. Oh, they what? have now shown another character. Are they? Holy shit. He's a king. I, I retweeted it. So he... Oh, okay. Hopefully it'll show up. Oh, it is. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. He's a king. Oh, Jesus, that was loud. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> no fucking phone. I'm Caesar, the leader of the Sons of Caledon. Oh Your my mom, god. And people are going to ask you to step on. Yeah. Right. Sure. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. And they already showed like. Uh, Sophie Tia much? No. <laughs> nah, I, I, damn. I'm, woof. Man. <laughs> I'll pull for her. Uh, what do you, Chris, what do you see here? <laughs> Two D's and <an> F. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, okay. Just like that. Thank you, Zenlus. Alright, I, I I guess for you, um guess you're not pulling you're not pulling for a little while more. You're gonna mm -hmm. wait for this one. Wait, is there something else or what's going on? I don't know, cause uh, cause you know, this upcoming month is the um 
the two banners, but I'm just making a joke. I guess you're not pulling on yeah, any banners this month. You will wait for this one. I know I should, but I I I, I kind of want Chingy, so yeah. One more optimizing perspective because I kind of want a five star impact unit. But Caesar King, holy shit, she looks cool. Yeah, he's got the Sophitia slash Cassandra thing going on. You know, short sword shield. If she fights like a uh, sword and shield and uh, monster hunter, that'd be like the the cherry on top. Uh, so what she needs to do is um your hold button. You hold that attack button. She throws the sword, and if it hits up. A, um enemy it sticks into them and then she just does a prayer and a fucking thunderbolt <laughs> <laughs> fucking happens. That means... well not thunderbolt because she's um i guess she's gonna be attribute fire a yeah. fucking meteor yeah oh comes in and just smacks them that'd be cool i take that shit so she does these <laughs> she's like gets on her <laughs> yeah she gets on her knees and she just prays and then the fucking meteor just comes out of nowhere but yeah Dude, you know, she looks cool. I like the, I like her, uh, the horns and stuff. That's yeah, uh, that's a unit right there for sure. I wonder what she is though. Is she gonna be like fire DPS or something or whatever fire defense? Hmm. That's not really. Oh, oh. She's physical. Physical Let's defense. Physical. Physical. Let's get, yep. Let's get physical. Yeah. Wow. She is a physical defense unit. Sorry, people, to burst your bubbles. Kingdom Hearts. Sora ain't gonna be in fucking Fortnite. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wait, All right. What? Hmm? What? What's, what's going on? Hmm? Huh? Because right now it's like of oh, Disney shit. Mm -hmm. More Marvel. Disney shit. Yeah. Oh, they're doing Star Wars shit for for Fortnite. Like at the same time, Disney or show. like what? What? Yeah, right there. I uh, put it into hypecast. Okay. Oh, I kind of see it. Hold on. Let me move this up. Boom, right there. Moff Gideon? Are you shitting me? Whoa. That guy. That thing. And then... And the Death Knights. Or... Rogu? <laughs> oh, but the uh, yeah, backpack. Death. And then, all right, come on. We're gonna we're gonna have the the best babysitter, all right? Oh, I what? still laugh my ass off when Yoda was out for as a backpack. Mm -hmm. He was super fucking loud. Oh, was he? And oh my god! In, you could be hiding in the bush because every now and then he would go, <laughs> and he's like, Shh, "Fuck him, Yoda!" <laughs> Where's Moff? And that's Gideon? where. Um, oh, that's like, Moff Gideon. That's right. He wore the armor. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Damn. But, um, mm -hmm. and that's why me and my friend we would have the the Yoda stuff. Mm -hmm. And every time we were like in a bat in a battle, and it, and if we won the fight. We'll be like in Yoda's voice. Oh, you lose. You you have dog water. You is <laughs> <laughs> trash. You are you better <laughs> uninstall. You must. <laughs> 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 Worthy, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Play never. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, fucking Yoda, man, <laughs> fucking Yoda. Out of my house, you is. <laughs> <laughs> you is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to get! <laughs> All right, sit down. You must. <laughs> uh, man. So now I'm looking at Grogu. It's like, how loud are you gonna be? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder if, like, ever, uh, I mean, I, I know Grogu is, like, gonna grow up in, like, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of years, but if he'll ever, like, talk like Yoda, or, I don't know. No, Grogu is gonna talk normal and just say, this is the way, or mm -hmm. swear, <laughs> just full-on swear at people. Or just grow up be, like, uh, Wade Wilson. <laughs> Or a nice pool. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get on to uh, vi the visual stuff. So hold on. Uh, which one should I play? I'll just play this one. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> that's that's a uh, that's Goliath. <laughs> Well, while uh, D23 has been teasing all that shit, there's a, there was a teaser for Last of Us Season 2. Uh, you know, the live-action series. And it showed off uh, Dina. Um, for a little bit. I guess we'll play with the sound. Then what? What did you do? Joel speaking to a therapist of some kind. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be Dina, but that could be, uh, what's her face? Um, wow. Ellie. <laughs> that's the, um, I forget that cult's name. Uh, they did, they did appear in the, the second game. Never... Scientology. <laughs> yeah, right. Might as well be. <laughs> Might as well be. Uh, no Abby, though. No Abby at all. Could be somewhere in the, the series. I don't know. So, I don't know. Any comment? I think that's also Dina. I don't know. It's hard to say. But yeah, it's coming 2025. Uh, oh yeah, so do you have any comment or anything to say? I mean, okay. I still haven't watched the first season. Yeah. Well, luckily, yeah, it doesn't really tea or spoil anything besides the fact. Yeah, I mean, you you play the game, so you you, you know. You I know. only played the first one. Yeah, you you play the first game. Team. This doesn't yeah, spoil anything about the team. second. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. spoil anything about the second. So it's like, yeah, it's a it's a teaser. So, yeah. Well, uh, we'll see of how deep they'll go into season two. Um, this one, yeah, so as we were talking about Disney, right, they're increasing their prices once again. Increasing the prices, and I believe, start of next month, they're going to crack down on the password sharing. Oh, wow. Good luck with that. Yeah. That's a stinker. So wait, is it sixteen dollars a month now? I thought I thought it was actually more, honestly, or um thirteen ninety nine. I thought it was more than thirteen ninety nine, but whatever. It will be now. <laughs> and then the ad, the ad 
tier will be ten dollars a month so okay yep it's time it's time boys it's time to be uh sailing the seven seas with jack sparrow <laughs> this is bigger than michael jordan like who who still uses Disney Plus in twenty twenty four? Oh man, this is how they afford already. Um, Robert Downey Jr.'s comeback. <laughs> oh wow, Pluto TV said still a hundred percent free over here. Damn, Tubi, Tubi has entered the chat. Damn. These are like um like free um streaming like websites that I guess are um legal. And they always even they even have like shows. I don't know how they have their own shows, but um it's like think of it like a like sci fi channel grade type of stuff, so don't expect anything much. I haven't heard anything good about them, but they do offer um Free movies like Godzilla and stuff, like the classic Godzilla films. Which I have watched uh, several times already from Tubi. So, um, that sucks, obviously. For Disney. Now moving on to the One Piece uh, Netflix series. Forgast the Ace, um, Japanese voice actor Toshio Furukawa. Confirms that Ace will be in season two live action, and that he will be voicing the Japanese dub, according to screen time. Anyway, he also expressed interest in voicing Ace for the Wit Studio One Piece remake that we did talk about a while back, uh, but hasn't been invited to do so. At least not yet, anyway. Uh, so any comments on Ace appearing in live action, or excuse me? Uh, live action season two. What may what what's got you thinking? Perhaps. Are you really rushing it? I get. I mean, yeah. How how long is it gonna be the the Drum Island stuff or the Garden? Uh, what do you call um. The what do you call, the Garden thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. How long or how fast they're gonna? Just to tell that it might be just like one episode, honestly, for um, yeah. with the giants. Which, as a whole, yeah, could work, but to me, it doesn't do justice for just one episode. Yeah, the giants, they really have a, they really have a presence. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but with but with Ace, it's like. Okay. Better find someone very um, charismatic and energetic. Mm -hmm. It's Ace. And, well, mostly, well, Ace is more easygoing than you know, energetic. Right. Um, hmm. Yeah, because I'm trying to... Well, because Ace did a re a appear in one part of drum island like in the flashback though so maybe that's like what's what it is he'll just appear in the flashback scene something to that extent because um he did in um well in the anime anyway he wore the uh, the black hat and the trench coat thing that get up at least so maybe they'll hopefully make reference of that that'd be cool um but yeah, it does make me wonder though, like how they're going to handle that part with Drum Island and the the, the garden, right? Um, I think Drum Island might be at most three episodes, at most, and then we have Whiskey Peak. We can't forget about Whiskey Peak for sure. And then, um, well, actually, hold on, because. Well, they meet. Well, okay, so they have to meet Mister Nine and Miss uh, Miss Wednesday, and they and then they go to Whiskey Peak, 
which that could all be in one episode, honestly. So that also includes the whale, right? Um, that all, That's probably all going to be shoved into one episode, possibly. And then they go to Whiskey Peak. And then they go to um, uh, the garden. And then they go to uh, Drum Island. So. I believe that's how it's, how it's going to go. But yeah, interesting that, yeah. For, uh, Ace is only already going to be appearing. But I'm guessing it's going to be that flashback scene that they did um, during... No. Of a flashback scene of him on Drum Island, I think. I think it was on Drum Island, but anyway. It's been a long time. Uh, but anyway, we'll see about the casting and everything. All right, last look. We did talk about this, or we did mention this earlier with Warner Brothers, doing, not knowing what the fuck they're doing. So, you know, Warner Brothers has just been all over the place. Uh, they were like buying stuff. Um, and on top of that, they're making terrible de decisions across a lot of things and decisions that people did not like to see, like, you know, vaulting up fucking the Coy uh, Wild, e Wild E. Coyote movies and stuff, canceling the, what was it, Batgirl or Batwoman? Um, Batwoman. Film. Batwoman film, right? That, I mean, that could, that could have been like a disaster or whatever. I don't know, but. Nonetheless, they put time into that, but they only to for them to write it off in their taxes. Um, then, like, the Mortal Kombat stuff, unfortunately, and the, the Suicide Squad game, and just a bunch of shit, right? And then not to mention, you know, um, the stuff with um, uh rooster teeth they, they like they bought rooster teeth but they didn't do anything uh ruby it's like off to somewhere else and now they're like uh and then uh, i believe they were like laying off people and stuff along the way and now they're like oh they're um considering selling their um video game, video game stuff well at least a stake yeah. anyway in their video game business so um interesting because they just acquired the multiverses studio which is player first games right which by the way i don't think that's been doing it doing all that well unfortunately i don't think anyone's really talking about it other than yeah there were, we we're getting new characters and such but besides that no one's really like oogling googling or anything like that um going crazy over that game honestly which that of itself Went through some terrible development decisions, unfortunately. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They they lost a lot of money. Yeah, especially with the Suicide Squad killed us Justice League. They that took a huge blow, right? So who who knows right of what's going to go on what's going on with uh, Warner Brothers Discovery because Cartoon Network is going through some shit right now from what I'm hearing. Yeah, Cartoon Network is gone. Well, it's like it's more like up in the air or like just uh they're trying to put it all on Max, but even then, I I don't know what's going on. But it's not on um, cable anymore or on television. I think, at least, f what I'm, from what I'm hearing, I also heard that the Cartoon Network um, section even like ends at like five o'clock p.m. Like that's so weird to me if that's true. And then the rest of that time is just Adult Swim. Isn't that crazy? Like, Adult Swim used to be like a late night thing, but now it's like a just like a night thing from five o'clock of all times. Right? That's crazy. Like, what's going on with that shit, man? Jesus. Cartoon Network has been some, like going to some changes, man. So yeah, a large part of it is due to Warner Brothers Discovery, man. 
Also, I would I would also say wh that's why um, certain TV shows like uh, BattleBots is not happening at the moment because Warner Brothers Discovery has like no fucking idea what they're doing. Like they're not like just communicating or whatever because they're in their own little mess that they've caused for themselves. So it's really hard to say of what's going to become of this company. Um, at least for next year yeah time will time can only tell all right um i know it's getting uh getting a little late but this one's like a little classic clip that i wanted to uh bring up so this is from uh um uh, sea of thieves i don't know if you've ever remember watching this clip because this is this was like a huge clip back in the day they had like this many likes and this was uploaded six years ago. And this is like 8 million views at this point. Alright, so. I'm going to play it right now. <laughs> I think the one I'm I'm used to of that was um Sea of Thieves. There the ship is you know sailing. And I guess a uh, fucking another ship was like sailing on top of a rock and it just slams into them while playing the pirates. Oh that's a, that's the more recent one, yeah. Um yeah. Th this this is this is the original. This is the original one. I, I think they took the audio from this one and they put slapped that on the that one, I yeah. think. So I saw that one too. I I also saw that one, but it, yeah, no, I I I no, I I uh, I like ran in this clip randomly, but yeah, it's such a classic. So that's why that's why I I thought you know I bring it up just for the last part of this uh, show, but that first part is like oh my god. Captain! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, god. Captain. I mean, I <laughs> I mean, they were into it, so yeah. you know, like, good on you guys. It yeah, it does bring memories of trying out Sea of Thieves when it was like beta or whatever when it was out. Like, it is fun in those short bursts, but once you are like, I want to say like three hours or two hours in, it's like that's it. This is all you do, you know. That was a huge issue. That's it? Yeah. Where's the rest of it? Yeah, exactly. Now, at this point, I think it does have some content, but uh, back then, it was, like, super, like, just shallow. But sailing the ship was, like, really fun, though, unfortunately, because it, it felt it did felt, felt like you are doing, like, a pirate ship simulation, but what you do in the game is, like, not a whole lot. So, I mean... I guess it's good, cool for people who love role playing as pirates and stuff, but yeah, video game wise, it's like yeah, it's really not much to do. And the way like you come back and stuff respawn is so um, bad because you like can kill the ship, sink it, and then you're even by that time you um. You're like low on ammo, you gotta like fix shit, but the shit that you killed comes back all fully repaired, all the ammo's back for them. And then they can um sink your ship while you're still down, and then they take the treasure from you. And then, you know, rinse and repeat potentially, but this shit was annoying. They didn't like uh put you somewhere else in a different seat part of the sea or like a different server or something i don't know but that was like one of the huge issues too besides the shallow content but hey we brought some good moments including the kraken and then this <laughs> 
it's a it's a it's a classic clip you know it comes from that sort of that era of gaming so i do kind of miss it so that's it we did uh, go on quite a bit because of disney so uh with that thank you very much um Oh, oh man. Um, Todd actually said something. I, I missed that. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Todd. Yeah. You have a hard time like looking at the chat and stuff, or, or like you're really into yeah. the the thing. But anyway, oh, that's right. Um. Uh. I don't know if I've talked about it. I thought I did, but anyway, you can dual wield to certain pistols in uh, Apex. So the P2020, I think, and also um the Beaks, the Mozambiques, you can do with them. So that's like a huge... Mozambique here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mozambique here. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that was like... The, maybe, maybe I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe that, that was one of the reasons why they wanted to play it. I don't know. Nah, un until I'm able to um, deal with... Um... Spitfire and just go. Oh my god! <laughs> like Rambo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> there should be a game mode where you just kind of go unhinged or something. Dual wield like everything. L stars, fucking uh, R three hundred ones, of course. Um, whatever, man. Oh, dual wingman. Come on, who, who, who doesn't want to, you know, dual, dual wheel the uh, wingman? <laughs> Be like, like a cowboy, man. You know, space cowboy. Anyway, um, that's it for reals. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's uh, skedaddle. So we'll be back. Uh, I think we're still waiting on Gamescom. Uh, I'm not sure. When is when is Gamescom? Let me let me uh, look that up real quick, and then we'll we can get out of for, for realsies. Ah, twenty first. Okay, that is um not coming up next week. We're still waiting. All right, so got some ways to go, but we'll get there and eventually. But anyways, uh, on that, thank you very much, and we will hope hope to see you all. Uh, in the next uh. Money uh does a lot of talking for sure. Uh, meanwhile, there was word about Pokemon Company um, or Game Freak are holding a big recruitment event at the end of August. They're looking for new planners, designers, programmers, and artists, and more. And there is this uh, statement right here if, in case uh. Y'all want to read that? I think it's in Japanese, but let me see. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, yeah, this is for Japanese uh, stuff, but the fact that they are doing that, it, it is, I think, a good sign um, because, you know, you you and I both know we play, we play Pokemon games, you know, you, you're, you've played a little bit of Scarlet and Violet, right? Yeah. You know, but you fell off, uh, I believe, at some point. Yeah, is that is that correct to say? Yes. Yeah. And what do you what do you think is that? If it is broken, seriously. Broken. Un yeah. Unappealing. Like, unappealing. Do you feel like it's archaic at this point of what they're trying to do? It's pretty much they hit the oh shit button. We need to do something a little too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also this is kind of like maybe a small misleading because people might look at it. Oh, they're hiring more people to work on Pokemon. Because of the artist part is like, are you actually going to use actual artists for when you do those damn competitions? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to just have AI sneak in? Ooh. Yeah. Right. Uh, anything else you wanted to add or? 
Good luck. Yeah. Um, Simmons had this to say uh, from your VG. Um, right here. This is a very good thing. Spend your fucking money. Yes. Way past the point when you should have done it. Yeah, so pretty much like what you're saying. But hey, at least there's some acknowledgement of your product desperately needing improvement. So. Yes, um, they've done. They've kind of like done the. Uh, you know, that, old, that same old formula for a very long time. They haven't like really like. Taken into consideration all these like updates that people have been asking for. Until like now i guess but they don't even like do it right you know it's very clunky um old still um i mean for what it was it's it was all right i i i have fun with it but could it have been better oh yes oh yes the execution could have been far better um yeah and also it's like I mean, it was nice to have freedom to go wherever you want, right out, right at the gate. Yes. But I'm old school for Pokemon. You know, just sent me on a linear path already. Like, mm. like the past GBA games and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. Right. I think really, they just need to update like what makes pokemon pokemon right rather than just doing the same exact thing over and over and over again right because yeah it does feel old like at this point you know very old school even though they do code it with a different paint right of uh, making it oh open world and stuff like that but man the environment looks super plain like the Bugginess, of course, does add to the negativity and such. Um, so, I think, yeah, um, I'm I am on the same boat with Simmons. It's like, yeah, it's it is late, but at least you're doing something about it, which is better than nothing. But man, you should have done this long time ago, right? It looks like now they're getting with the times because the old guard um, are kind of like starting to uh make their way out because well they're old right they're tired of it you know um they already kind of like got their fill you know what i mean um so i think it is, it does sound promising but we'll definitely have to wait and see you know kind of the same with like you know robert downey jr like you know let's like wait and see on that but uh the same thing here like we can definitely have to see how this actually turns out you know are they gonna hire the right people you know the right experiences um you know because you don't want just like a ragtag group of people you know you definitely want people who love pokemon who actually like it who want to actually improve it like they got their own ideas right you know that'd be pretty cool So that's my two cents on that. So hopefully that turns out good. That's all I can say. Lastly, um, for those who are big fans of like the fa uh, the old Fate Satan stuff, especially with the visual novel stuff, right? Um, it's being remastered, so it's gonna be ported to like. Um, the Nintendo Switch and uh, Steam. Uh, pretty soon, I think it will be out. So it'll have uh, English support, Chinese and Japanese. Although sadly, it will not be on PlayStation consoles. Uh, strangely enough, it's only on uh, Switch. And according to this, um. Fate Stay Night Remastered will not include the 18 plus scenes from the original PC version. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> For those people who want that stuff, um, yeah. 
are not going to see that. But yep, either way, this is the OG, you know, Fate Stay stuff. You know, there's three different paths. Um, Sabers is just called Fate. Um, Rin, uh, Rin is um, Unlimited Blade Works. Sakura is Heaven's Feel. Hence, you know, the movies. Or the OVAs and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> well, Heaven's Feel is a three-part movie. Unlimited Blade Works is a series. Fate is also um, a series, although very, very old. So I feel like this should be remade or something at some point. On top of that, for Fate Stay Night, Fate... Um, I don't know if it's in the same place, but, um, ah, Hollow Autoroxia is also going to be remade as well, remastered, if you will. So you'll see different characters like, um, I forget her name, is like Bazette or something? She was the original master for, um, Kuu Kuu Lane. But uh, I think she lost Ku to um, Kota Mine. And then she got mm -hmm. um, I think she got Avenger at some point. So that is one of the things that happened in um, uh, Autoroxia. So it's going to be also out for Steam and a Nintendo Switch. So that is the thing uh for those who are big big um fate fans yep because that's where it all started it all started with um or at least one of the starting points for fate which is the visual novel stuff yep yep i am tempted to try this out but i don't know we'll see if i have the time for it because um i try to get into like visual novel stuff but i hasn't quite stick to me mm -hmm. as well right because like um yeah uh i tried playing uh, what was it um dog and rumpa dog and rumpa um, mm, yeah, yeah. yeah i i i don't know I, um i remember uh uh ender slash kate right um try to like get us get us into it but I don't know. It just did not stick with me for some reason. But, um, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I can't say about my visual novels. They, they have, um, their stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Including hot, 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 full boyfriend. Right. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> then, and then, yes, there was also, um, Digimon Survive was it? Was that yeah, the one? Survive yes. Could have been better. A lot better. It could have been a lot better, yeah. <sighs> it's like... Yeah. It looked really promising too. It looked really cool, but um it was just like a pseudo visual novel experience. And then the uh even like the tactical RPG part was like Oh, just corner this motherfucker and right here, and then you just attack from all sides. That's like the meta right there. <laughs> That's well, all. You... When you do it, new new game plus, all right, go go mega, mm -hmm. <laughs> fucking kill this rookie. Mm -hmm. War Greymon, yeah, yeah, this kills the shit out of like everyone, pretty much. It's like it's like wait, that's illegal. Nah, mm -hmm. it's part of the game. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sadly, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do the true ending thing, the true ending route. But well, I, I don't know. I kind of, I, I kind of go, gone. Uh, I'm over it. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of over the, the novelty. I'll probably just like YouTube it or something at some point. Um, I don't know. Visual novel stuff. It's kind of hit or miss. Uh, quite hit or miss for me. But maybe fate will do it. I don't know. We'll see. But um, hey, it's re being remastered though. That's pretty cool. All right, last one for the road, which is the 
visual entertainment and extras. So let's uh hit this one. I'm <laughs> <laughs> watching the boys. <laughs> yep. So this is gonna be the extra bit of things because this is, has to do with um the Olympics that's going on right now. So yep. there's been this uh shooter named y Yusuf uh Dekek. Dekek. Um I please forgive me for the butchering. Dekek. Yeah. <laughs> Dekek. <Takako>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's been going around like wildfire because he just looks like an ordinary dude fun, uh, funny enough but he has like no special equipment he's got nothing except for his glasses right and you know and of course the pistol and uh he actually won second place in the uh shooter competition and at the olympics so in japan they've been calling him the free user ojisan or um muka king um, ojisan um, which, I'm yeah, sorry. I, I thought you said another, another word. I was like, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, it basically, not rated R. <laughs> no, it basically means, uh, like, yeah, free user, free to play, like, you know, no money, uh, being used for video game stuff. Uh, OG son. Cause yeah, like he looks, he's like nothing. He's like, he's got no like special lens the covers yeah, he has no um like special equipment it's just like he just walk there and go like eh, okay mm -hmm. which is also funny like someone was trying to theory craft that this might be like a retired you know like oh um, hitman or like <laughs> hitman or stuff mm -hmm. so that's why he's so he looks so used to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very familiar yeah um there were pictures of him when he was younger, and yes, he has participated in these uh, competitions for a long time. So that's why he was able to do this like nothing. So I think he's also won medals too at those competitions. Hence how he won so easily. Right. Um, yeah, so there's like all kinds of memes and just things going around about this old man. So, 51-year-old old man. So, yeah, they're, like, comparing him to, like, a lot of characters, including, um, uh, City Hunter and, like, John Wick and, um, just the whole free-to-play aspect of things. Um, just a lot of memes. A lot of fan art, too, if I may add. I'm sure you've, like, seen your fair share on your yeah, end. Yeah, I, I, I've seen, like, fair share. Mm-hmm. But I can't. I keep forgetting. Like he looks like a like a celebrity. He me. does. He kind of does. Like I forget the, the. It's like I see the face, but I cannot bring out the name. Mm -hmm. He looks like um like an older version of Rain Wilson, if he had hair and gray and it's gray, to me. Kind of like he kind of looks like that, or um. A little bit of um oh see now i'm trying to get a little foggy <laughs> yeah. i know right it's like it's a, it's at the tip of your tongue mm -hmm. you see the face but you're right. like what is your name yeah like not exactly like martin scorsese but maybe martin scorsese when he was like younger or something a little bit i don't know mm -hmm. a little bit um but yeah, no, this guy's been going around like on the internet, like what, like just all over the place. Oh. Now I know why he looks a little bit. Um, Anderson Cooper, just a tad. Oh yeah, okay, I can kind of see it. Like his his face is a little on the wide side, but I I can kind of see why, especially if you put on these glasses. Definitely not exactly, but yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of get it. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of people are comparing to him, um, Sakamoto. Because Sa Sakamoto, um, his, or the anime for him is coming up um, kind of soon. So that's why he's yeah. been 
compared quite a bit. And there's another picture of him. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, free to play, yeah, free to play whale. Free to whale. Yeah, this is another. This is the this is the other person that uh has been talked about quite a bit. I don't know if she's from like Korea or China. I f I forget which one, but yeah, also very popular. And you know that the uh like the um the oh, target is like actually small, like it's small. Yeah, very it's very not a small. Big ass target. Mm -hmm. So that's why some of these whales have, um, you know, fancy uh, equipment, accessories. Yeah, but this guy <laughs> is just his glasses, man, and his eyes, you know, of course. Oh, yeah, so she, she's from Korea, obviously. So yeah, I should have seen that. But um, yeah, they're they're talking about her like for like a good minute because they're like, oh, yeah, she, she's got uh, main character energy or whatever. Right. But then this guy came along and then and, 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 uh, she kind of like got swept up <laughs> in the internet popularity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does kind of like yep. it. <laughs> yes. From Gintama. Yeah, see like the fan art right here. Um, Gearless Joe. Yeah, from uh, Megalobox. Yeah. Yeah, she, she she's also been brought up as well. But, um, yeah, yeah, ballistic, yes, yes. Uh, also, Vic, uh, what was his name? Oh, yeah, Victor from uh, Tekken, Tekken 8. So, well, people still play Apex? I guess so, right? <laughs> <laughs> even yeah. after the fumble they did, well, it wasn't even a fumble. Yeah, with the battle pass. Oh my god, that's that shit was stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the fan art. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy, this person too, with the rifle, was also brought up, but not as much as these two for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Red Dead. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Oh man, you see this? <laughs> you got the old ass equipment, and <laughs> the girl has um, all this like gamer gear and all that shit. The guy, <laughs> the scouter, <laughs> the big ass scouter right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is extremely funny. Yep. Yeah. Meanwhile, right. Yeah. Also from Korea. Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. What's with these, like, Koreans and the shooter portion of the competition? But, yep. <sighs> he has been quite the internet celebrity as of right now. It's just random 51-year-old old Turkish guy. But yeah, he's no he he's no stranger. That's for sure. He's no stranger to the competition. It's just like he has no equipment, nothing. Uh, let me see if I can like Google he's, him. He's see. he's the one. <laughs> the one, yeah. Wow. <laughs> um. Let me see. Okay. I want to find... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a good encapsulation of, like, how popular he is. Oh, yeah, apparently he's a cat uh, cat person. He likes cats. Okay, you see that? Wake up! <laughs> You're up! You're up! You're up! Look! Your cousin... Yeah, right here. <laughs> yep. Fan art. All this stuff. Yeah, Hitman. <laughs> Hitman. Yeah.
I just wish they, uh, what do you call it? Um, it gets, th this stuff gets televised, but no, because this hardly ever, um, televised because there's no U.S. people making it to the top. That's why they don't, um, uh, what do you call it? Put it on the big screen, you know? Yeah, and then, you know, uh, I guess, like, even, like, a lot of the other shooters are kind of, like, they give off that energy, that aura, you know? That guy from India. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the rifle dude. Put his <laughs> ass, like, he playing Bayonetta. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Yep, that's uh, that's a small gist of it, you know. There's so much of this uh, old old guy. That's uh, like I said, I've been taking over and shit. Meanwhile, also taking over is uh, the well, at least the marketing side of things is uh, Deadpool Wolverine opening higher than expected with um, two hundred and eleven million domestically. Over the weekend, I believe. Um, six million above of what was reported. Six biggest domestic film opening of all time. Um, I, f I think I have another page for it. No, okay, never mind. I thought I did. My bad. But, um, let me see. Oh, anyway, you watched the movie. Um, did you enjoy it? Is, does yes. it live? Yeah. Does it live up to the hype? Yes, it does. Okay. There's a lot of um, kind of small homework you have to do okay. to understand some parts of the movie, but it's not. It doesn't linger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's pretty much, bing, bang, boom, done. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't have to and like. This I, I don't have to watch any. Films before going into um, Deadpool, right? Got Deadpool Wolverine. No, 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 like you don't need to really understand Loki. Like they, it's kind of like self-explanatory. Yeah, they they do their own self. Um, what's it called? Exposition. Yeah. Or info dump. Um, yeah. the only homework you have to do is pretty much try to remember. Um, past Fox movies. That's it. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just remember fast, uh, fast possible. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, look at this, right? Um, Deadpool Wolverine right in the middle, right? Whereas you have Last Jedi, Force Awakens, Infinity War from Avengers, No Way Home, and Endgame just topping it, right? With Endgame being, um, 355 million and um actually it's just, yeah it's the same same amount pretty much for no way home that's actually kind of surprising i thought there was some difference but mm. but for a rated r movie this is the biggest one right for opening anyway domestic and globally i guess um yeah Cause look at look at the top three. It's all Deadpool, you know. That's funny. It is right behind it. Surprising enough, Joker is right behind it with almost a uh, hundred million. But uh, yep. yeah, that's so funny though. It's on the the last like the number ten, pretty much. Which is Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh. Well, look at this though. Um, the Matrix Reloaded is still uh, in the top ten as a rated R movie, which I actually don't. I didn't even remember. Uh, Reloaded was a rated R movie. Wow. Same. I thought it was just a movie. Yeah, that was a uh, like PG thirteen or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's surprising actually. Uh, so yep. Yeah. Congrats on the strong opening so far. 
I'll try to go catch it myself um, next week during a weeknight. Hopefully there won't be uh, as many people. But I do understand like it, it was making a lot of noise, so that's why. Um, and I mean, plus I was like tired. That w <laughs> that this whole week was a fucking mess, so that's why I'm like, ugh. So hopefully by by next week it'll settle down, but we'll see. I'll try to make my way to watch it. So yep. So that means technically that'll be my first uh, MCU movie in a long ass time, quote unquote. Right, because it's still like, eh, is, is it is it Fox or is it Disney? I mean, I don't know. Right. Uh, so it it is Disney owned, but they're in the movie. They are explain why it's Disney owned. So it, mm -hmm. it you fit. It, I cannot say shit. Cause right. There's a lot of spoilers and the right. reason why this happened and this happened. Right. Right. Yeah, it's it's a fun movie. You yeah. you you'll have a you have a ball. Mm -hmm. Um, the opening, the intro to the movie is gonna replay in your head when you go to fucking sleep, because <laughs> it's it's that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of also um, there's a lot of jabs to um, to WB and um. And other uh, companies like mm. a lot of jabs, and you're like, <laughs> nice. He's like, well, WB can't say shit because they of, they mm. are in in a shit hole. Yeah, a lot of jabs and roasts. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah. As we record this, it's already in the second weekend, right? So, or no? Well, yeah, it's going into the second weekend. Yeah. Pretty much. We'll see how uh, how the um, what do you call the moviegoers go. Hopefully, it won't be as crowded once I uh, get around to it. Yep. Congrats. Uh, this one. Lastly, another movie. Uh, the live action. Until Dawn movie is bringing back uh, Peter Stormare, right? Um, he was like the doctor, the yeah, he was kind of like the doctor in the uh, Until Dawn stuff. So that's cool. Um, for those who care about the Until Dawn stuff, um, <laughs> the lifetime achievement that guy actor, <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, yeah, I. I, I like them. I mean, <laughs> I like them in a uh, number of movies. I remember he was in um, like Bad Boys too, and like uh, so like th those like kind of movies. I forgot that he was in Black Ops Four though. Hmm. Well, anywho, uh, any comment on uh, this little bit right here? Don't suck. Yeah, <laughs> you literally have you know the the battle plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you have P Peter Stormare, so you can't fuck fuck it up, right? <laughs> How can you fuck this you up? You can't fuck this up, right? Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> Hold no. Hold my film real. <laughs> film. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Alrighty, that's all I got. So, yep. that's all I have. The only thing I have is save for Banner 2 on Zenless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And watch me go like, here we go! I didn't get him. No, oh, yeah. Well, if you're saying... Here we go! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember her, like how many, like, Gems or whatever you have right on top of your head, or no? Because I started the, uh, you know, the, that month thing, mm -hmm. I currently have 1,000 something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I, I'm not kidding. 
day one, I'm dropping 100 to see what my gotcha luck is in this game. Oh, man. All right. You're already getting... Man, you're... You're, you're be like... Whoa. You're already, like, digging your, your hole, your, your little zone for um, your Hoyoverse, man. I mean, yeah. I can't play catch up with um, Genjin. Right. I can maybe ca play catch up with um, Honkai. Yeah, Sariel. Yeah. yeah. But... You already had your foot down for um, Zenless, so I mean, honestly, honestly, like th this is kind of like more more of your game because like um, the character designs, you know. I mean, is there anyone you really like in uh, Star Rail just from like looking at them, or? I was watching a video of I guess a guy was playing um, doing a boss run. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have them, but. All I know is that his his support skill was opening a can of um a sprite or something. Oh, like, uh, like you're talking about soda. Uh, you're talking about Gallagher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, the fuck is that skill? You thirsty? Mm -hmm. Um, my throat is now now good. I was like, whoa, <laughs> wait. My <laughs> thirst is actual lie. My thirst is quenched. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one I saw, it was a. Uh, she had a great sword, I guess. And when she leapt in the. It was, I guess, her ultimate. She leapt in the air and there was a full moon behind her. And then she kind of just slashed down. Oh, you're, okay. Uh, not a great sword, but yeah, like she basically has a sword and it gets a little bigger with ice or whatever, right? Yeah. She's ice. Yeah, that's um, Jing Liu. Mm hmm. Yeah, she she's still kind of up there. She uh kind of caught power crept a little bit, but uh yeah, AOE destruction unit does good damage. Um, AOE damage at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's her. And right then now. there's mm -hmm. another one. I guess she's a true support. Um, she just puts everybody on a stage. Oh, that's and Robin. She's, like singing. Yeah, yeah, that's Robin. That she's really popular. Yeah, very popular. Because so uh, she's a yeah. buffer, I guess. She she buffs up um, follow up attacks. Uh, basically, yeah. Basically, characters who like do like extra attacks like periodically. That's what she supports basically. But she also just like she's a. I think she's just like a good general support. That's why she's like very. Highly placed in the uh, tier tier list. Uh, so she's just everywhere. She's the big utility um you um unit. Yeah, because she also buffs uh critical damage, so that's why, as as well. I May mean, I, I found the video, so I, I'll show it after our podcast is done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All and, right, all right. That's it. That's it. Yep. That's all she wrote for this week. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in for this episode. Always fun. So uh, we'll come back. Uh, I believe... Well, is there anything big coming up for next week? I don't think so, right? Because Gamescom is more towards um end of August, right? Yeah, end of August. Yes. So we're still waiting on that. And um, yeah, I mean, unless uh, some random fighting game shit pops up. I mean, you yeah, know, whatever, you know. We'll cover it. So, yep. Uh, anyways, you guys take care. Have a good one. And we will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>